The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on Nude Clan. Hey, Craig, maybe we can go diving again. Yeah. Some. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Nude Clan, the video game podcast that loves watching weirdly animated Resident Evil films. <laughs> I am your host, Caleb Schweiss. Caleb Craig. And Zach. And today, guys, if you didn't realize by the episode title, we are going to be reviewing the animated film Resident Evil Degeneration. I'm actually excited because I've been wanting to get into these for a bit because I do actually like like these movies. The This one? Uh, it's not my favorite. At <laughs> least the live action ones, you mean? Um, no, I like the animated ones, man. I don't know which ones are worse. I mean, honestly, now, when you told me that the movie was called uh, Regeneration, and <laughs> and then you said like it was the first one of the animated Resident Evil movies, like that's the stupidest title ever. Why the fuck would you name the first movie in a series Regeneration? Yeah. Well, and what we later <laughs> found out. Is it was called Degeneration. But on Voodoo, you can search Regeneration, and it's like you the can fifth search thing that comes a up. few things that aren't Regeneration as well, and it will still uh, bring it up. That's true, yeah. You can like <laughs> typo the fuck out of it. It's like, did you mean this? Have you, have you, like, have you like typed in there like when you're drunk too many times, and that's this the system like evolving to you where it's like, yeah, he means one of these. Yeah, he's after the nerd. Like, like you're like, I haven't seen this in a while, but the voodoo's like, drunk motherfucker has been watching it when it's blackout because this is his favorite movie. And so it just, like, automatically knows. I think so. That must be the answer. Um, it's ridiculous, though. Like, the, we saw a really horrible trailer. What was, that, was that movie called Regeneration? Is that what it was? Yeah, it was Re-Generation. <laughs> you guys just don't know what good cinema is God, because that looked fucking, yeah, that was terrible, dude. It was so bad. It's why zero, was zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes in is uh, categorized as a documentary slash musical, which neither so, of any none of those were in the trailer. Eh? There was yeah. no singing. Two minute long trailer, no singing, and did not have the filmography. Of Bro, that a chick looked rough too. All. She was yeah. like she was have been beat. She's been out in the sun for a long yeah. time. And then like the thing is, Fucking she was like albino as well. Or was that like a hat? Like I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Maybe it was a dread hat. <laughs> her legs, like when they like showed like her not legs that he was gonna like amp like put on there. The skin color did not match the face. No. Like it was, they, like, it was used a different <laughs> person for that they shot. They used an actual crippled person for the shot. <laughs> and they're like, nah, he's black, just keep it. Yeah, I thought about <laughs> I've thought of the things like this before though. I've thought of like uh like covering my arms up for a long period of time and then making it look like I've got them stitched and then like having like black arms. <laughs> people will ask me, like, what what is that? And it's like, oh, I had an arm implant. <laughs> Stuff like I've thought of, I've thought extensively. This about, was like, the only only matchable donor they had. Yeah, or like, what if you had like a big black dick? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just some, like white, skinny white dude with a massive black dick. I, I don't know, but big. you still had your balls. But your tiny. Little <laughs> <dick>. <laughs> yeah, it's kinda, no, they implanted that dude's balls too, so your kids are half cast. <laughs> so you can it's be like, like that's not my kid. Yeah, it's like when you ask for a. It's like when you ask Wendy's if they're if they if they'll do a mixed frosty. <laughs> <laughs> they have one in one. There's one in one, but like one of yours survived, but the other one is that. Yeah, ball. yeah. <laughs> so, even, so, you're, so your sack's like mulatto too, or it's like yeah, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> mulatto sack. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a great name for like a band. Like a. An <laughs> ethnically diverse band. <laughs> Mulatto scrote. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe a better album title. And they, and they have two lead singers. One's like a regular like scream artist, and the second one's one of those Mongolian like throat singing dudes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they're 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 opposite though. The Mongolian throat singing guy is the super white guy, and then the actual Mongolian guy is the death metal. Screamer. Yeah, because we want to like create a really like cohesive. That's right. Yeah, That's cohesive right. ball sack. For friendship and love to come. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Think about it though. I've thought about that. I've thought about like replacing parts that movie looks like a piece of shit though like it looks so bad we're done we're not talking like funny bad either we're talking just bad bad yeah uh, i we, mean i think it's still be funny to watch god it has a zero percent i've never even seen that before i'm pretty sure troll 2 the movie that's supposed to be the worst movie ever made has a higher tomato score than that what's troll 2 it's it's, it's ter- supposed to be it's really a bad. terrible movie. I've seen it. It's it's awful, but it's funny because of how bad it is. Worse than Captain Marvel. Uh yes. Did you laugh technically as hard in that <laughs> Trolls Two as you did when Captain Marvel was like doing her fucking scream face when she was like in the that was so fucking hilarious, dude. In Troll Two, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm the- talking about when like the, near the end where she's like something's like blowing up or I can't remember exactly what's happening, but she's like got this like ham look on her face with like these flames all around her dude i, I only saw Jesus that movie Christ. once so well yeah i mean i don't remember obviously <laughs> dude in troll 2 they have like <laughs> four or five troll masks so they had to like reuse them for like these like panning shots of like multiple like troll goblin things <laughs> so they would be like panning over and you'd see the same mask a couple times <laughs> 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 it was just stupid like they're just like weird just, yeah. but it was funny yeah it, I, one of the things that i love that i really like the sharknado movies um because what? they do that like the first one is so ridiculous, dude. Right, but and, and what? But what make? What's that line? <laughs> what's that line between absolute shit and like? I actually kind of like this movie. Like, no matter how dumb it is, I think that yeah. line is probably like Sharknado. Yeah. Like the, there's the part in the movie where the fucking where they go back to the the dudes or the girls like uh, ex husband or something's house. And the house, like, is flooding, right? Because the whole area is being, you know, it's a huge yeah. storm. And then the camera pans out, and the house, like, explodes, and water explodes out of the house. It's like, the house was flooding because the fucking <laughs> neighborhood was flooding. But then we get this camera shot of the house blowing up, and the water comes out of the house. <laughs> so it's like the house was solely flooding itself. <laughs> like, it's just insane. It's it's so fucking funny. I I do like the scene where he gets, like, eaten, but he, like, chainsaws his way out. Yeah. Like, it's just so funny. Or, like, all the shots of the town where you can tell it's a bright, sunny day, but they just kind of, like, fucked with the filter after the fact <laughs> yeah. and made it look rainy. Like, the sun is out, man. <laughs> it's like a hot California day. And they're like, ah, it's so cold out here. But they just so put, chilly. They just put, like, they superimpose, like, rain over that, and you can see the bright sun and the, the rain coming down. Uh, that's funny. There's, there's, there's I haven't actually line. seen the Sharknado movie. It's oh like, man, the, the, it's funny. It's crazy. Um, there's a there is a fine line though. Yeah, and it, it I don't know if you can really. I feel like when it's like, mon- like it, I guess besides Troll Two, a lot of the monster movies like are that way. Where you're just like, this movie's fucking shit, but I'll buy it. You mean like uh, Velocipaster? I want to uh, watch that. <laughs> I haven't seen that yet, and I want to. Oh man, there's another one. There's that a I sex watch. scene in that movie. I want to see what a raptor dick looks like. <laughs> there's another one I want to watch. I think it was like Werecock or Were Rooster or something. <laughs> oh, it was Were Rooster. Were Rooster. Yeah. yeah, dude, I want to fucking watch that movie. It's so uh, bad. See, like and like progressively, like in movies, like Tremors progressively gets worse and worse and worse as they go along. But I will still always watch it. <laughs> yeah. Like I will always watch it. Yeah, I really like the first Tremors movie. Yeah, it's the first good. one's rad. And then you get lines in the third one where she's like, we should call it Mass Blasters. And he's like, that sounds like a porno. And you're like, well, I guess I'll take what I can get. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Looking it up later. <laughs> yeah, but we are here for a Resident Evil animated yeah. film uh, today. <sighs> but before we get into any of that good, good shit, what's everyone been playing lately? What have you guys been up to? Uh, this week, I've only played um, some Smash Bros. and some Vermintide 2. What's Vermintide? It's like a awesome. first-person Diablo. Um, 
It's a uh, like in the Warhammer universe, oh. um, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's like a first-person Diablo game, where like each character has like kind of different classes that and abilities, and then uh, you get like random loot that yeah. will change the way that they fight. And, and stuff. it's kind of like the, the way like Destiny like levels up, where you get like higher level loot, and then you <clears> wear your highest level one, you get higher level shit. You put it on. Yeah, so you have like go a, back in, do it in the loot box, and you get like higher level shit. And you just keep going. So you have yeah, like so you have like a, a, level a, a hero, uh, like a item <laughs> tier thing. No, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I thought you wanted to. I thought you wanted pussy, Craig. You can't go Warhammer. Cause, okay, look, there's a tier here. There's a tier. We have gaming, which is like maybe you'll have sex, maybe not, and then you have. D and D, and it's like probably not. And I think even below that, you can correct me if I'm wrong here, Zach. Is Warhammer forty thousand? It's the mostly the you miniatures. Twice I have sex. I know, I know, I know. I <laughs> know. And I play D and D. He basically just like Zach. You're a fucking. But virgin. he doesn't talk. I about fucked it. twice. He doesn't talk about it. No, you do actually. Uh, it's the miniature painting. That's the one where it's like he does that. I know too. he does it. I know. Look, he's the, and I'm damn good at you're, it. He's the you're exception. Describing something to I, me that that is right else here. That's why, why he does. That's why he's talking to you, but he's looking at me. I'm looking at him. <laughs> he's staring right. He's like, I cannot believe you. Fuck. I don't know how this is possible. <laughs> he's the exception that proves the rule, Craig. He is such a rare being. And he knows it. Look at him. He understands. I do. I'm special. It's not. It's supposed to happen that way. This is, is that a, what your mommy is... told you, and the teacher's wife. Yeah, <laughs> that's what your mom told him. <laughs> yeah. Paint me like one of your French miniatures, and I was like, I <laughs> <laughs> paint me like paint me like one of your French figurines. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. It, seriously though, like. That's that that Warhammer 40k is like super super nerdy to me. I don't know. It's it, not 40k though. <laughs> it, yeah, LARPing. This one's Age of Sigmar. Get it right. Oh, I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> LARPing is it's I don't the medieval know. One. Where would LARPing fall in this? Is it below 40k, <sighs> or is it like above? I don't know. And what you mean on the scale of like of like weird shit? I don't weird, know very many people things. who LARP to be honest. They're LARPing like, is like up there if we're going like. Tears of you know I would LARP if like at the end it was a huge orgy you know what I'm <laughs> if there were chicks <laughs> if, you, if you were guaranteed to fuck yeah. afterwards I would probably that's LARP, part yeah. of it you win and you get their women that's yeah. how LARP is that not how LARPing works <laughs> man no wonder it's like we're all making fun of it and they're all getting laid <laughs> this dude's like I don't know what he's talking we about we understand I'm nothing yeah these I, these troglodytes I, I, in there. Saying, me you. A friend who shall not be named. Uh, we should all fuck. Go. Yeah, oh. no, I thought that's why it's called the nude clan. We're all naked right now. Yeah. Um, I think we should all do a larping thing and just fucking wreck people. Like, I just want to like, I'm like throw like spells. Like, no, you're dead. I'm just gonna fucking shield bash him. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just be. Brutal. I'm undead now. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I just want to go in and kick someone's ass. Like I just feel like it'd be so much fun just to walk in and just like fucking wreck someone and pick their weapon up. Like it's mine now. And I just start beating people yeah. with it. Just look at their corpses. I don't know. We they say that. Pull his wallet. I'm like, hey, you got fifty bucks. They Throw it back sit- in. <laughs> yeah, they have to sit there and pretend they're dead. You just fucking rob them. <laughs> and then and then you teabag them. <laughs> Is this not standard operating procedure? I learned this from Halo. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. Who was it? Someone died in Vermintide 2 last night, and I ran up, and I, like, dig tea bagged them, and you're, like, looking truck pressing control. I'm like, <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's in that. Yeah, I'd probably LARP if that were the case, yeah. We should, we'll just make, like, we'll just get, like, we'll cut cardboard out and paint it black, and we'll just be this black army, and we'll just run through. <laughs> I uh, I think LARPing might be the lowest. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've never done it. I don't know. I did. What do you mean? Did, what I, do you mean by lowest? Like the most nerdy? Like I did. Oh, yeah, yeah. That that is the that is like the furthest you can go. I went on a couple of dates with a chick that LARPed. Or said she did. I don't know. If she really did. Yeah. Yeah. I can't confirm their weirdest. Was reaction. she trying to like improve you or, or impress you? <laughs> improve me. Improve you. <laughs> I want to fix you. Um. I don't know. Like. <laughs> You're not enough. You're no, that shit, that shit got weird because, like, 
I was like, hey, I'm not feeling this. And then she just kept messaging me. She's like, well, how can I make you feel it? And I'm like, get away from me. Like, <laughs> stop, stop messaging me. Yeah. She's like, no, I can change your mind. And I'm like, fucking go away. Yeah. Like, it was, it was kind of scary. So to me, from my like experience with LARPers, is they're fucking scary. <laughs> In a creepy way. I I only even know a couple people that have done it. Now I haven't talked to him for a long. That time. was my only like thing into there was like. Well, that okay, shit. hold on. Now now we have to like, is, is it the Renaissance Fair kind of larping shit, or is it like? It was fantasy. <laughs> Renaissance Fair is kind of like fun, but I mean it is pretty nerdy though. Dude, your lines are so fucked up and like just wavy. Like you're like that's shitty, but that's kind of cool. <laughs> well, I mean like. <laughs> You're like reenacting the past. That's one thing. But another thing is like to just Bro, they're not. They're not reenacting the past at a Renaissance fair. I've seen fucking dragons in. dipshit. There's not bullshit. Yeah. I don't know. Reenactments are also pretty nerdy. Like even the ones that are just like, like Civil War reenactments. Yeah, yeah like shit. Civil War ones. The Civil War stuff. ones don't make sense because you're like, I'm gonna be on the side that loses and you're like, All right, fucker, you cuck. <clears throat> yeah. like, I just go I side? just go on that side so I can drop the N bomb. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, I'm just in character. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> I get a pass when I'm on the south. Some, some dudes, like, you can't say that. You're like, I'm a fucking. I'm like, shut up, slave. <laughs> <laughs> then you get some like KKK guys alongside you, and then <laughs> and what, what about what and now? Like, and they're like, right on, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Like, does that mean, like, if you like those, like, paintball reenactments of, like, D-Day and shit, if you're German, you can be anti-Semitic? Yeah, Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's just the rule. You know? <laughs> Bro, I, how dare you ruin our economy? Could you, <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine, yeah. like, being, like a, like, a German, like, air quotes on that side? You get somebody and just, like, like, blow stuff in their face, and you're like, this is a gas chamber now, and you're like... <laughs> Well, your special deals now. <laughs> you can't go up there anymore. You're in a concentration camp. Yeah. Show me your item number. <laughs> God damn. Where's your star? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's your star? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. It's I, I. I don't know. Well, my I guess it would have to. I w- it would have to depend on like when they're. Uh, my lawyer's gonna be pissed off this episode. The, the, t- <laughs> the timeline of the German stuff for like when they're reenacting it. I, dude, I actually watched like a half, like part of a documentary for like the people that reenact like the World War Two stone paintball. And it actually looks kind of fun. Yeah, it looks sweet. Yeah, except for I'd like I'd go Rambo and I'd beat the shit, beat the shit out of people. <laughs> Where it's like at ammo, you're just like. Pounding the shit out of someone, and you just like take it from them. You get uh, we uh, you gotta get like paint <laughs> mallets. Like, uh, do they ever do reenactments where Hitler wasn't their general? <laughs> no. Do you have Sorry. to sh- do you have to shoot yourself in the mouth with a paintball gun if you're Hitler at the end of the thing? <laughs> like you're just oh, like, like it's gonna fuck. hurt, but you have to do it. It's no, gotta like... be a frozen one. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gotta be frozen. Fuck! Son of a bitch! My d- fucking You just teeth. chews on a fucking cyanide paintball. <laughs> yeah. Dude, paint, that stuff tastes like terrible. I got shot in the mouth when I played, like, in high school. Oh, fuck. Did it, that hurt? It was through a mask, so it didn't hurt. No. But it tasted like I was, like, so we were, like, pinned down, getting shot at, and I put, like, I had, like, an extended barrel on my gun, so I was, like, with this other gun, I'm like, hey, we'll just put it up real quick. And so I put it up, like, the gun up over this, like, ledge. And he hit the barrel, and I was like, mm, fuck. <laughs> like, what are we doing? He's like, I'll cover fire you. And you just like, G- just go. And I was like, okay. So I stand up, and this fucker stays laying down. <laughs> and I go to look at him, and I'm like, you son of a bitch. And I get shot in the mouth, and I'm just like. <sighs> and, like, I put my hand up, like, hey, I got hit. And I, like, took my like my mask up. Dude, I was spitting green for, like, 20 minutes. Jeez. Jeez. It was nasty shit, bro. I'll tell you. The one of the most painful things I've ever done is when they made me do my like. Uh, oh, and you fucking like ran, and we just shut the fuck out of you, <laughs> dude. It hurt so fucking bad. Oh my god! Like that's why when we did Didn't we did we that hit, like your nipple like a bunch of times. <laughs> uh, my gut it was the biggest pain. Oh, it was the gut. I was okay. bleeding from the stomach, like my flabby ass <laughs> gut. It was so painful. And then we did this, I like... I think I nailed you in the head a couple times. Yeah. And we did this Civil War thing where we were supposed to, like... Such a cunt. We were supposed to just walk up and do one shot, and I, like, unloaded on everyone, basically. <laughs> I was so pissed. It hurt 
dude, it fucking hurts because it yeah. does. I had like I had the chest armor stuff. It does not help. Oh yeah, and we were you pretty wore close armor? to each other too. I wore armor, but I was running sideways, and they were hitting me in the arm and then like the under <laughs> v- side of my gut. So where I would it's wear. Not at I had all. like my jeans, tennis shoes. I'd wear a muscle shirt. And the only protection I had was, like, I wore the mask, and then I had, like, on my hands, like, gloves, because I fucking hated getting shot in the hand. Yeah. I don't think any of us got shot in the hand. But <laughs> weren't you bleeding in the face, or was it your no, I wasn't bleeding in the arm. arm. I think you got shot in the arm, and it bled. I got shot a bunch of in the arm, yeah, but it was only, like, really, really bruised. It was, like, a deep purple bruise. But So I did one where I was running away from this kid, and there was, like, a little ravine, like, like, a, like a 10-foot, like, slope. And I wasn't paying attention when I was running, and I fell down this ravine. And so I rolled and landed in a stream. And then I went to get up to, like, limp away because I was hurt. And, like, he started, like, shooting behind me and missed. And I was like, wait, wait, wait I fell. I think I, I think I twisted my ankle. <laughs> and he, like, walked over, and I'm like, and just, like, shot him up. And he's like, you fucking asshole. And I was like, nah, it's war, <laughs> baby, it's war. And just, like, <laughs> get fucked. Wimped, All's fair. Wimped back to where I was going. Yeah. It's fun, but and you guys didn't know the Nude Clan is a paintball podcast now. Yeah, <laughs> we're changing directions again. <laughs> uh, what about you, Zach? What have you been playing? Oh man, I played some Streets of Rage four. Put some more of that. I didn't play a lot of that. I played a bit of that. Um, oh, shit ton of Vermintide. I played a lot of Vermintide this week, and I'm so I'm sorry, Craig. You guys are dicks. <laughs> <laughs> so, you? So we were playing with Craig, but he worked all week. Is it multiplayer? Yeah, it is. Yeah, oh. you get up to four. It's a four-player co-op, <laughs> and I bought Cameron and Zach the game, yeah. and then they went and fucking played you. it without me for hey, the entire week. Is that better or worse than buying the game for someone and them never playing it? At least on Steam, it's <laughs> basically <laughs> on Steam the same you, in a if, way. If you never open it, the person gets the money back. I know A4 bought me something, and yeah, I never he bought you that fucking the joke room one. Yeah, yeah. The, the comedy club um, or whatever. I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> We should all play that because you got that for me too, and I think we'd all be we all kill it up there. I stage. don't have a fucking computer. Oh, that's anymore, right. <laughs> fucking poor person. Yeah, which is why we're not streaming it today. By the way, oh, yeah, sorry guys, because we're I'm out of PC. Um, she wasn't saying. Oh yeah, okay. So we're sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> so don't we were fucking playing, lie to me. <laughs> we played at them like all last weekend. And, like I went from like level one to like you're like eight and nine. You were nine when you started yesterday, right? Uh no, I was level thirteen or twelve when we stopped last um, night. No, not last night. Uh, just the time before. Oh, were you okay? So we were like, let's just get to level ten, so we can so we can play with Craig. This is what happened. This is like hand to God. This is what happened. We're like, yeah, we're gonna play level ten, and then we're like, oh hey, like Jacob. So J- okay. Jacob bought the game, and he's hella pissed because it was thirty dollars. Well, I told him <laughs> it wasn't on sale anymore. <laughs> he's like, whatever. <laughs> so like, the plan was to get to level ten. And then we would wait. But we kept leveling up, and then we opened our new classes. And I was like, bro, I got to try the Berserker out. Like, I have to. <laughs> and Cameron's like, dude, I want to try my new one out, too. And it was just, and an A4 and Jacob like, yeah, we're cool, we're cool, just like whatever. And then it just it just got out of hand. That's what happened. And then and then we got we got to the last boss, <laughs> and we upped our difficulty, and we got fucked. But we were like, no, like, we're figuring this out. We, we can do this this next time. And the second time, we got beat. Like, both times, we got his life, like, really low. So we had to, we had to beat him, Craig. Like, we had to get in there and do it because it was our pride on the line. Wait, so you beat the game already? Yeah. Oh, wow. And so we, we, It's not a very long no. campaign. Well, Basically, so, it's like redoing a bunch of <laughs> missions, and then there's, like, other stuff you can and, do in the and game. And Cameron was like... Cameron thought it was a lot longer than it was going to be. Like he's like, "Oh, we're just in the first area." I told him exactly well, so, how long it was. Well, so he's like, "Yeah, we're just he's like, this is the first area. So even if we beat it, we can just wait, and then we can start like the new one and start like the new the new chapter with Craig. It'd be cool." And we're like, "Okay, yeah, that sounds great." And then we beat the game, and I was like, "Yeah, there's only thirteen levels in this game." And he's like, "What?" <laughs> so then we did feel bad because we're like, "Oh shit." <laughs> And well, fuck, you fucking went from being like level eight to being like level twenty when the max level was like thirty in the game. Yeah, we're almost. And then you up. kept going, <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah. assholes. Yeah. We had to, we had to beat the guy. You could have fucking switched and characters like, when he was fucking the guy, Jacob Craig. bought the game. Dude. He was the guy, and like you know, you know, Cameron <laughs> and Jacob are assholes because I play the dwarf and they shoot over me. <laughs> like I go to like kill people and like it's like oh yeah you, I'm slower than everyone else. He running. still has a gun and no not with the berserker you you, you have two. Oh yeah the weapons. berserker one yeah, yeah. And so then like they shoot there and shoot arrows in front of me or Cameron reaches over with his spear and I'm like that's why he gets the most fucking kills he steals them from me. Yeah his character should not be doing what Cam Cam does. I know. <laughs> I'm the damage 
damage dealer. And Cam Cam has a class ability that like basically lets him teleport, so he like purposefully goes ahead and just like kills shit. Yeah, he's a bitch. Yeah. I get so mad playing that game with him. Me and him had a fight last night. Because <laughs> he took my strength potion. <laughs> and he's like, well, you took the speed potion. I'm like, because I can't. My guy is slow. I can't keep up with everyone else in the game. Like, we're, there's a mission where you're running away, like, as everything's, like, collapsing, as you're, like, trying to get out of there. It's like, let's, like, escape. Yeah. The bad guys kept catching up to me because my guy's like. <laughs> hey, your dude is basically <laughs> meant to be, like, the tank. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, they're, 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 like, ahead of me. And I have to turn around, kill people, <laughs> keep running. I'm like, my dwarf's, like, asthmatic, apparently. And he's, like, dying. <laughs> and then, then I'd get, like, a red streak because I'd get hit and I'd have to turn around. They're like, hurry up, Zach. And I'm like, fuck you guys. I can't run that fast. Like, it was such bullshit. So that's why it takes speed potions. Because my guy waddles really fast when you give him a speed potion. It's really funny. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that was the hell from yesterday. So me and Cameron got in a fight about that for a bit. <laughs> and then we went and helped each other. Like, we both went down. And we both, like, it, it's several times. We both looked at each other, just walked away, and started killing more people. <laughs> like, we, we, were, uh, we were being kind of dicks to each other yesterday. Yeah. Um... I'm trying to think I played anything else, and I don't think I did. Oh, I played some of the, the Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle game on PlayStation. Nice. And that's it. Was it shitty? No, it's actually fun. Is it? Yeah, I mean, A like... A lot of those anime-based like based games are really fucking I, stupid. I like the Attack on Titan one, like, at least number one. I haven't, like, gotten that far number two, but number one was fun, because, like, the lock-on was really, really easy to the Titans, but swinging with, like, your gear was, was is fun. Mm. Between houses and like through trees and shit, like it's just fun maneuverability. Like it reminds me, it's not as, as refined, but it's it's as fun to me as being Spider Man swinging through. The nice, game. yeah. It's just fun. It's just an extra mechanic that's just neat. There you go. That's all I played. What about you, bro? Um, I played a decent amount of Final Fantasy 15. So we're playing through it again for Ultima Final Fantasy and doing the uh, DLC episodes. We're gonna do a review of each of those, and then we're gonna okay. re visit the game as a whole with all the changes they've made because the game's totally different now like they added there's a some lot. like Kingsglaive <laughs> cutscenes in there which are yeah they added a shitload of cutscenes they added those DLC stuff like the stories or whatever to like give more context to what happens between certain parts and then yeah there's just like and then they added like a whole bunch of like dungeons and Weapons and shit. Yeah, I'm not going to do all the dungeons and weapons. Um, I don't care about that. But the story changes are what I'm mostly after. And there are there are changes um, so far. But we'll see how extreme it actually gets. So I played probably like you five hours. You listen to your uh, 15 review before you like... Re-review? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Sadly, Joe didn't want to do Kingslave and Comrades again. That's unfortunate. But what, a, what a cuck slave. I know. Well, Kings. I don't think either of those things, like, changed. <laughs> no, they they didn't. That's true. <laughs> but you got to get, like, the whole experience. You know, you got to do all of it. Episode Arden makes 15 fucking retarded, though. I'll tell you that. Yeah. We ordered the books, too. There's, like, a book that was supposed to be the rest of the DLC because it got canceled. They just wrote a book instead, apparently. Fucking nerds. Yeah, so we'll see how it all goes. Um, They're just like, we're spending too much money on 15. we got to fucking... <laughs> we got to get out. Focus on the new got to end this shit. Yeah, pull the cord, pull the plug, finally. But I did a bunch of that. I also played a decent amount of Conan Exiles, naturally. Um, <laughs> naturally. We have the northern base. It's all up there. I've been doing Black Eyes stuff. And then last night I... Uh, I lost my horse because I brought him in the volcano like an idiot, and he died. And then I died, too. Why do you sound more choked up about that (sighs) horse loss than the one in fucking Red Dead 2 or the one in Ghost of Tsushima? Because the ghost one, it doesn't matter, man. This is different. What do you mean it doesn't matter? This I transported all of my shit from my old base to my new base with this horse. I had way more connection. Yeah, with this well, I I fought the Mongols with that last one, and I kicked their asses. He only had the name of horse, but God, he dude, died following I... me, and that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that would hurt. And I got to the snake boss in the volcano, and I died because I ran out of fucking water, and I died of thirst like an asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you got to take that fucking ice in there. I had like 200 ice, man. 
but next time I'm going in, I'm just going in and getting out. I'm killing him and I'm leaving. Um, I just I was just like out getting more black ice, and I was like, oh, let's look for star metal. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go in the volcano. Let's let's fuck around. And it was you don't go bad. in the volcano for star metal. I know, but I I was in the neighborhood, so I figured <laughs> I'd just hang out. <laughs> Killed a bunch of snake people. Got a bunch of like hardcore weapons that, of course, I lost when I died. But yeah, that was that was fun, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm enjoying it though. I I really am. And Joe's Joe was playing, but I guess now he's working every fucking night of the week, so he's not going to be playing at all mm. um, with me. But I had one other person. I saw a listener playing as well for like a few minutes, but I, they decided to play a better game than they got off. Uh, I don't think that's possible, <laughs> um, but they decided something. I, you know, I also saw, I noticed something that was like they must. This must have been like some kind of oversight or like some kind of thing that they missed. But Sony, you know how they have the uh, like the biggest hits from PS4 mm-hmm. on the PS5, yeah, right. Um, I don't know if like somebody fucked up or like <laughs> some kind of like confusion, but Conan Exiles isn't one of those games. And I was like, huh, weird. Like you got you got all the usual suspects, God of War, you know. <laughs> You've got a, uh, you've got fucking <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm pretty sure is on the that Last of Us and Last of Us You realize that last the game has to two. sell a certain amount for it to be considered the greatest <laughs> hit. Well, I mean, if we're talking like the greatest of the great, you know, the cream of the crop, like I, I think they just missed it. Like they must have, it must have just been lost somehow. <laughs> Some kind of glitch. People that have was to like, actually enjoy it twice. That was like the top page or like the dossier that the guy was giving to Sony to like play. And like there was a the terrible, hands. a terrible windstorm, and he lost the Conan Exiles <laughs> top sheet. Yeah, just... that was like the the cover page of like <laughs> that's what you sell. And like, wow, that is a great idea. That Exiles, amazing. Whatever else is in there, whatever. As long as this one is here, do what you want. But uh, somehow, not there. I don't understand that. <laughs> So, uh, you know, don't buy it. Don't buy a PS5 now because they lied. <laughs> They're lying to you. Also, speaking of PlayStation, guys, I, I wasn't. I wasn't <laughs> sure if I was going to bring this up, but I think you should. I think I've been like low key banned on PlayStation <laughs> uh, because I, I I went to start a chat. I was playing Conan with uh, Joe, and I was trying to join a, a party chat with him. And every time I join the party chat, it just tells me, it like, a, a little pop-up in the corner. You know how PlayStation has those little messages that pop up in the left corner, a little banner? It kept saying uh, something along the lines of, you are muted so others can't hear you, or something like that. And I was like, what? And then I, I went through every mic setting there was, like, every different area, like, in the system settings and the chat settings itself. I muted, unmuted myself, left, came back in, left, came back in join my own party i can't speak in my own party i can't speak in joe's party like no one's i feel like i feel like somebody like i got blacklisted and it's weird you because think i you'd be able to talk in your own party i know uh, but it, and see this is what i was talking about when we kind of went off on sony for doing this in the first place the whole I like recording it's not like anybody's specific party anymore because like it's just like the chat group Party. Yeah, that thing's got so many fucking issues too. Like, I hate that I can I go online and it's like, oh hey, are any of my friends in a party? And it's like, can't tell. You don't know. They're all private. Yeah, you're yeah. not in it. And it's like, why? Yeah. Like, you can't at least see at it. least what it could do is like I can understand people I don't ever play with, but if it's like like you guys or Branny or Cam or A4 or any of them, it should be like, oh yeah, they have they have a party. You can join or you can ask to join and they can ignore you. Yeah. Like at least yeah. give me the option to see because like what I end up having to do, like especially if I play the, if I play with Branny, like on PlayStation, mm-hmm. I have to fucking text him over Messenger and then wait twenty minutes for him to f- to see it <laughs> <laughs> before I get into a party. Or I'm an asshole and I'm like, I'm just gonna make a party and if you're with friends, fuck them. Like yeah. it just sucks. Like it, it's so stupid. I hate the new thing they're doing. It's kind of annoying. I, I just don't know why I'm not able to talk. You don't know why, really? And it's really well. I might know why, but they, <laughs> the thing is, though, they they have a an could article. be that bigoted thing you said. Who knows? Yeah, you probably no. you said the hard F word <laughs> or the hard N word. I can't tell with you. It's one or the other. Yeah. No, maybe it was, it was both <laughs> in the same sentence. Uh, I, I I don't know what I don't know what it is honestly because they they're the rules they say if you're like get a, if you get a warning if you've been banned from chat then... or if you've been like in yeah if you're like in jail in like PlayStation jail 
they'll tell you. They'll send you an email. And I looked through my PlayStation emails, and all it was is them jerking me off or buying stuff. I think like, I think you should ask. But, like, at the same uh, time, have you, if you <laughs> ask, are they going to go back and listen to I, your chat? I guess you can't use your uh, computer to test your headset to see if that was the problem. It's not the headset. I plugged in. Uh, it's too I, soon, Craig. I, dis- I disconnected my headset, and I plugged one directly into the controller, and it did the same thing. Really? Yeah. There's huh. no, it's, it's, it is my account, I think. I didn't check, uh, the one thing I didn't do is I didn't try to join a party with another user on my PlayStation. See but if, if it I, was something else? Yeah, see if it's just me or if it's like my PlayStation. And I read online that they can ban your entire PlayStation if they want, like every user on it. What? Um, yeah. Does it stop you from playing like any of your games online? No, it just stops you from being able to interact with things. Oh, so I was going to say like, I, I'd fucking storm their fucking headquarters and be like, no, I paid for these games. Dude, that's some fucked up shit either way. Like, Yeah, isn't that... If you, if you can ban everybody on a PlayStation, this, like, that's ridiculous. Yeah, and I think it's totally... it's It, it seems wrong to me, because, like, the chat, I get... And I get that, like, it's their chat, and they can do what they want, but they didn't even tell me why. Like, I don't even know why I mean, I'm Yeah, if it's a specific blocked. chat, then, like, be blocked from that chat. Yeah, yeah. Or like, the, like, or like other, the, the person or, that was a bitch and was like, you hurt my feelings. Or at least, yeah, the yeah. P- the person who specifically reported, like maybe that person, but like, yeah, like when you block people, they can't hear you. You yeah. can't hear each other. Not, cause, you know, we've known people that have done that, and they will be having multiple conversations at once because they can't hear each other. Yeah, which is painful. It's like get the fuck out of your. That one's funny fit. because it, that one made. What happened to someone? I can't remember who it was. But that's happened in the chat we were all in, and it was funny because we were like talking shit to each person. That's the other person. It was great. Yeah, yeah. but see, like, it, it, I don't know. That's why I say just don't get into don't get into anything that's anyone that's fucking tender. Don't don't be in a room with them I, at all. I don't know why they bothered to switch. I don't know, and it's like we talked about this before, but like it really just like now that we've been using it, it just really seems like a poor idea because like the chat that they had before was perfect and fine. And you yeah. could have reported somebody yeah. anyway. Yeah, and I don't understand like what I don't I don't get the like reporting. You can just ban you can just block people. Yeah, you, you can, can just, just say, block people too. Like that's another thing. It's like you had that ability from the beginning. Like why not yeah. use it? Right. It's Unless not, people just didn't I, know that and they were like, We need to be treated extra special. I've blocked people. I've blocked accounts that are sent me spam and stuff. And they they yeah. can't send me messages at all anymore. It doesn't exist. I don't know I don't see what the problem with that is. Yeah, yeah. fucking if a PlayStation if it, or Sony's it, gonna focus on anything, they need to fucking ban those bots. Yeah. Yeah. The porn bots. Yeah, like they yeah, don't the even fucking, have links. The I fucking can't even porn look. bots or the <laughs> other There's <laughs> no hyperlink. Or those bullshit. other fucking bots that keep being like, Oh yeah, you want some fucking free PlayStation money? Go to this site and click on this shit. I feel yeah. like it, it's an it's a harsh like they're fixing a problem that they they didn't pay attention to, and they actively like refused to. Were, like, were there at. just like a bunch of people that and were then, asking for it? Because I feel like it's kids. It's kids who are playing online who weren't playing in our everybody day. Everybody always that were getting says shit talk on the Xbox kids, Live, but like that makes no sense. Kids aren't gonna fucking go through the process of like reporting another player for talking shit yeah, to them. Because like I feel like it's just an they could have just reaction. blocked that person before anyway. And what is right. reporting really going to do? Because like it seems like they're just going to warn them first. That's what they're after supposed li- to. If you listen- keep up with your racial slurs, young man, you're not going to have any place. Yeah, it's inside. like what are you fucking doing? Like yeah. it's an overreaction because I feel like it, it, what happens with everything these days is well, something it's gets blown out of proportion. Less punishing than just like straight up blocking. And the they <laughs> and they just go in and they like overfix it. Yeah. To save face. But, I mean, again, we don't know if that's actually what happened with me either. That's the thing I want to make clear. No. I don't know because yeah. I looked online. I Googled that specific message, and all it told me was, oh, try muting and unmuting yourself. And I'm like, that's not what it is. I'm just not allowed to talk. Maybe, maybe you and should. And it tells me that when I join. It says, you are muted so others can't hear you. Maybe you should talk to Sony. It, it, it's it's like when you unmute yourself, like it's still muted? No, nothing works, yeah. It doesn't. It's not that I'm muted. Like, it doesn't had, show me as muted. It just tells me that I cannot speak. Because before the fucking party so update, it like me. it was doing that to me all the time too. Like when I would join somebody else's party, it would like automatically mute my mic. That's because we and turned then I'd you have in. to unmute it. Would it tell you though? Would yeah, it would message? tell me. That, yeah, it would say that you're muted and then nobody can hear me. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll just unmute myself. Yeah, mine's unmuted already. And then it already. would be fine. Mine's already unmuted when that happens. 
You're unmuted? Yeah, it's unmuted. <laughs> That's fucking weird. And no weird. one can hear me. No one can hear me at all. Joe cannot hear me on there. Huh. Yeah, so that, we had to that, use Discord. That blows. Yeah. I, I, like I wonder Discord if like, better, it's a, just a, some fuck-off thing in your system. It could be some kind of a glitch. I'm yeah. not saying it's them against me, per se. I'm just saying that it's awfully convenient that it happens after they make this big Yeah, because you'd think that they'd like, right. email you or something. Or That's send what you they like, s- a message through PlayStation being That's- like, hey... Yeah, they, chill the fuck out. They're just the Gestapo, bro. They just come in and just eliminating people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got these McCarthyist pricks they're turning the SS, people in. They're just walking there. Just, you're just dead. It's weird, yeah. And I don't know. That's why it almost seems conspiratorial like to talk about it. It's like I'm pushing some conspiracy theory, but they... they if just, I go home and I meet it, I'm going to kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they it's told, all of us now. <laughs> yeah, they said online that you will get a message for, in your email, your inbox, saying, hey, did, you know, we're putting you in timeout. Did you check your email? Did you check, I did. Did you yeah. check your junk email? Yeah, I did. I checked all everywhere. Mm-hmm. I think you, you're probably going to have to talk to him and just see. And if it, and if they did do it, we can just shit talk him on the show. Maybe I should just, like, <laughs> yeah, record just the, like... the conversation and, like, put it on the show. How dare you fucking Sony? We're the fucking nude clan. Do you not know who we are? Yeah. We will shut you oh, down. Oh, man, you could. <laughs> honestly, just like call him through Skype and be like, hey. What the fuck? We're a Bane mask. I'll bring my Bane mask over so you can have it on. Yeah. Why the <laughs> fuck did you mute me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's weird. I, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't really. And that's the thing is I, it's all just speculation. It's all speculative talk right. on our end because we don't know. They dude, you're fully anything. transforming into that one dude. What's his name? The Jones guy, Alex Jones. You're, you're, you're. It's happening. They're trying do to you, shut me down. Do you know that you're kind of retarded? Look, guys, <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but I'm kind of retarded. Sony's making, Sony's making the gamers gay. Sony's, Sony's trying to silence me. <laughs> That's that last one too. I swear to God. Yeah, they're making fucking, the gamers gay. I gave it a good score. God damn it. <laughs> this is real time, Alex. We're, we're discovering like the metamorphosis in Alex Jones. Yeah. It's kind of scary, but I'm excited to see. You're like a Resident <laughs> Evil boss. The gaming scene has been invaded oh. by social justice warriors. <laughs> <laughs> They're coming for us. They're going to tear it all down. You heard it here first. The globalists are here. Nude Clan is the last bastion of hope. Yeah. Uh, seriously. We're, we're the line. It's really annoying, though. I'm like, why the fuck can't I join these? I Honestly, I don't know. And it could be some problem. But I, like I said, I Googled it and... All people were saying is, oh, just unmute yourself. And I'm like, I fucking can't. It, it isn't a thing. My headset works. It works just fine. It works on other devices. Like, it's it's not the headset. It's not the mic. It honestly would be really fucked up if they had just, like, randomly muted you I somehow. Didn't say yeah, because I didn't speak. What I, what I said was uh, I got invited to something, and I said, what is this gay-ass shit? <laughs> it was like some mega chat. <laughs> And oh, the yeah, guy who started like, it, a it bunch was of people in there. Yeah, it was like Branny. So he, you know, he's a gay guy. So I'm like, whatever. Oh, that's like, we're brash and uncouth and evil <laughs> and fucking rude to each other all the time. And that's the only thing I can think of that might have been what it was. But all of us were in there, and A4 was in there, and he's more offensive than you are some of the time. Yeah, Branny's actually kicked A4 out of shit. <laughs> I've never been removed, yeah. I've never been kicked out. That was so funny. Yeah. Oh, dude, like... last night. So last night, I'm sorry, we're going to go back to chat stuff, too. When we were on Discord, uh, Cameron was playing that Dance Monkey song to be a dick day for. Because <laughs> <laughs> they shit talking of the day. And Cameron and, like made, like, an, like we have, like, a Discord for us. And he fucking... A4 muted him and can't fucking boot him out of the Discord. You, so you guys like, have your own separate Discord? I mean, what? <laughs> Why? Uh, just like for when we all play games together, like Vermintide. Really, it's like a Vermintide one. It's not. It's a totally different channel. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Why? I don't know. Cause it's cool. Funsies, I guess. Yeah, he's the show channel. He fucking dicks. I do. I'm on the show channel quite a bit, actually. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Uh. But yeah. So. Yeah. A four was like the fuck, bro. Why'd you kick me out? <laughs> Like he just booted him. It was really funny because like then Cameron came back on and he muted him again, and then, <laughs> then he got then, then he got booted. <laughs> and so then I sent him an invite to join back because I have admin privileges. <laughs> nice. And all I hear is, "I'm bad, Cameron." <laughs> 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 it was funny shit. Just got to beat him down. Uh, but yeah. So what else did you play then? So Final Fantasy 15. Going in exiles. Aside from the conspiracy. Yeah. Sony. Um, I think that's it. I was gonna play uh, that game that I'm supposed to be playing. <laughs> Valkyrie Chronicles or whatever the fuck. Valkyrie Chronicles? Crust Chronicle Valkyrie. No, it's... Dude, Kaim. <laughs> Did you know what you're supposed to be playing? 
Is it another Crystal, one for It's not Crystal Chronicles. Is no, it's the one, that's Ultimate? the one that you, you gave him to play. The one you beat. Xenoblade Chronicles. That's what oh, it Xenoblade Chronicles. You went through like seven different fucking I completely forgot franchises. that we were supposed to be playing that game because I beat that game in July. <laughs> did you really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did. That's how far behind we are. No, 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 no not we. Dude, it was, not we. We you. kept we kept pushing it back because Cam Cam like oh, couldn't play right. through like Suikoden or something or no, it was no, it was both of them were like we're behind on Suikoden. Oh yeah, you both of you were behind on Suikoden, <laughs> and then we did the <laughs> Undertale one first, even though yeah. that was like behind yeah. Suikoden so and yeah, Xenoblade. Can't hurry and beat that, and then I suffered. I actually kind of like that game, <laughs> and beat that. And then, and then yeah. you guys still didn't beat Squeaking in. <laughs> so then, me and Craig had to go through our reserve list of beaten games. <laughs> yeah, and so we just mm. like as we, we hold we off the war back while the you and Cam are circle jerking each other yeah. to get into like ah, I don't want to play this week. Yeah, dude, that game was like sixty hours. So I have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, well, I just saw your sperm count just drop. Like yeah. you guys, like you're just like no. <sighs> I almost played it, but my switch was dead when I. I to almost work. played it. <laughs> I thought about it. So That's we, what I'm going to do all week. Yeah, I'm going to go on my business trip and taking taking the switch. I'm just going to hang out. Yeah. I thought about. It. I I like to talk about the games that I thought about playing. <laughs> I thought about playing that. I thought about playing the City of NT to get some more trophies. I thought about playing. I'm pretty sure Xenoblade was also one of the ones that we had to play because it was a forced entry. It was. Yeah. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't not played it. I mean, dude. until I die and don't finish it, it's not not done technically. Dude, if we're talking about games we were gonna play, I actually like saw Bayonetta last week, and I was looking it up on Switch. Like I was tempted to buy buy it. Well, yeah, yeah. you should buy it on Switch because like if you buy Bayonetta two, then you also get the first one. Oh, if you buy two, it's you a get free the first copy. One? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. Oh, sick! I was gonna buy the first one, and like, yeah, I'll buy number two after. But not if that's gonna. Yeah, happen. no. Two comes with a. I think you have to buy the physical copy though. Ooh. And then it comes with both. Ooh. Yeah, if not, I have the physical for two. Sick. Yeah, I've got like four Switch games. Yeah, I most of yeah. mine are online, like on like on the downloads. Yeah. Yeah, it has a shit memory bank, so I, I don't like doing that. Oh, I bought a new, I bought a card. Yeah. I like a really really big one. Yeah, you know me, I'm against buying extra things for insufficient consoles, so. Whenever we watch the console wars, we watch them fuck up Xbox One. Yeah, well, that's easy. I mean, that's like child's play. That's like beating up a toddler. It's like, of course, never, man. Easy. We had no Switch games. beat up Xbox. The Ewoks beat the Empire. Little things just win. Yeah. <laughs> well, we uh, know what everyone's been playing this week. The real question, I would say, and many would say, the only question is: Did anybody beat a game this? Week. What the fuck is it? <laughs> oh, it is. nope. No, I did. Oh, what did you beat? I beat Vermin Tide Two. Vermin Tide Fucking Two. Asshole. Craig, this is the part in Return of the Jedi where the Rebellion get to the Death Star Two, and Luke's like, "We're gonna defeat you," and he's like, "Ah, oh, but the Death Star is fully operational." Yeah. That's, that's what's happening right now. Quite operational. You thought you were gonna you were gonna come and beat me this year, but the Death Star is fully operational. Wouldn't I be the Empire though? I don't know. I just like the quote. <laughs> I thought about it yesterday when I was driving around. <laughs> Didn't think about it much though. No, nah, just enough to be a dick to you. <laughs> just enough to use it. Yeah, just enough to use it. Effectively, I'm afraid no. it will be quite operational <laughs> by the time your friends arrive. <laughs> Dude, so I, I, I love the way his voice just like starts getting progressively higher <laughs> when he's fucking says that line. He's being a dick. Like that's yeah. the best part of that. Is, How is it? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, did you did you um, have the boy watch the Star Wars Lego TV special yet? Yeah, the holiday? Uh no, I it's haven't. Actually, pretty funny. I laughed a lot. Nice. Yeah, I was putting my Christmas tree up yesterday. Mm-hmm. So. Very nice. So the nude hog. Is uh, as follows: Zach, first place with twenty-two games completed. Oh. Caleb Craig, <laughs> second place with twenty-one. I am in third with the lowly, disgustingly small, thirteen. A micro, some would say. Yeah. <laughs> For this show, <laughs> dude, I've uh, only beaten eight games this year. <laughs> wow. I mean, Conan Exiles is always for the show, but is it <laughs> officially not? I kind of feel like when when it gets down to the wire and we finally like do like the final calculations, 
It's gonna be like when Jin fought his his uncle. It's just me and you, like just like like the the the, the trees in the background. It's the sunset and it's the petals, and me and you're just like. Come! Just like samurai fighting each other. That's how it always is for me, anyway. Like whatever. Dude. No, I'm serious. Like the like whoever is closest to me is like like significantly ahead of the other people in the, on the podcast. So you're just saying you're just Musashi. For, before you joined, like Schweiss and I, we were fucking. Close. We're always close. But, like, fucking Cam and Joe would just be, like, way down there. <laughs> yeah. They'd be, like, at the point where Schweiss is right now. The future's at now, the end of the year. man. At the end of the year, yeah. And then... <laughs> that was back when we were hitting, like, 40s and 50s. Yeah. yeah. But this one, I mean, I don't know, man. Maybe this one will have to be decided in the in the courts. We'll if you... <laughs> we'll have to look into, look into some of these... Is it, is it going to be like Trump with this whole election thing? Like, you're going to make us have to do a recount? Or yeah, yeah. We're going to recount the games. <laughs> no Russian collusion. We're going to see if, uh, we're going to see if, like, we got to have, like, screenshots of games beaten. <laughs> if, if, if I do lose, I'm going to commission A4 to draw, like, a comic panel, and it's going to be, like, The Last Samurai. Or he's, like, holding the old guy, and he's, like, watching, like, the leaves. <laughs> like, the, the, like, the cherry blossoms, like, fall from the tree where he's dying. <laughs> <laughs> Like that's that's my plan. If I lose, I'm gonna get a commission. Nice. Yeah. I uh, it's it's heating up though. You guys, <laughs> Craig, are you gonna be able to pull it off? I know you're supposed to. You usually have like a whole month. That's off. what I'm worried about. I, to be honest, because like you don't have free time. Like you're getting fucked at work. I am. I don't have any free time at all. And since I have a girlfriend <laughs> now, like it's even less time. Because like Friday was my only time to really play by myself, and I haven't had that <clears throat> for like half the year now. And, uh, you know, Saturdays, I'm busy now. And, so, and then Sundays, it's the boys you know, we do yeah. we do the podcast, and then it's playing with the boys. So, yeah. Craig, uh, woman's just got to know her place, Craig. <laughs> There's a hierarchy here, and I feel like yours is a little fucked up. <laughs> nah, it's really not. <sighs> Craig, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. Look, believe me, believe me when I tell you. He's going to be the fourth Hokage. You have to put... <laughs> believe it. He's going to be the fourth Hokage? I didn't watch the fucking show, Craig. I'm an adult who was having... Well, when I was a teenager... The was fourth so Hokage is Naruto's dead. I don't Just watch so the show, Craig. You got to set this... You have I to, fucked in high school. This You have to establish this hierarchy early. But you're Mexican. You have to know. No. That's true. Black people have Dragon Ball Z and Mexicans are supposed to have have Naruto or One Piece, which I don't watch either. So I don't really know anybody that like talks about One Piece anymore. I do, and I make fun of them on Facebook every chance I get. Never you should. heard of that because Dragon Ball Z is where it's at. <laughs> he the black people he are talks correct. he talks shit all the time because I guess he has like a gaming podcast and like a gaming channel on Twitch, and so I just like send him memes making fun of One Piece. And he just gets pissed. <laughs> it's like my morning ritual like I wake up take a shower make my coffee troll this kid for like 20 minutes before I go to work <laughs> nice yeah. it's a good life that's, 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 that's simple yeah do you tell him that his show goes absolutely nowhere for the entirety of like yeah. a thousand episodes yeah he said that's not true cause it doesn't there's it's like, like plot man every single like my my brother's been watching it he's like i cannot tell the difference between like actual like the the actual plot and then filler arcs i just <laughs> like, cause the kid Which was is horrible <laughs> well because like he was talking shit about attack on titan and i was like that is an actual story though <laughs> yeah. and i was like how does it feel to know you're not Dude, finished yet but it's like the number I, one anime I'm like it's the number one manga if, it's ridiculous if the writer okay so the writer of one piece is like finishing it up i guess like he's, he's working on the last arc like right now no he shouldn't finish and, it until it's a and volume. i swear to god if he doesn't make the ending the one piece was the friends he made along the way <laughs> i will fucking riot <laughs> bro he he just trolls I want, everyone i want yeah i just want him to like fucking troll everyone with that ending that's <laughs> should be like the ending like partly but the everybody guy's like, fucking nah, watched fucking it for like 1500 episodes and it's just like yeah, yeah it's dude, the that, you made along the way that anime has over 1000 episodes <laughs> jesus christ because like literally all that show is is like he goes along he's trying to be the fucking like pirate king and he gets like 
new crew members like all the fucking time and it's like yeah it's just gonna have to be like the one piece is his friends but in the end she the guy should be like nah just fuck it with you and there's like, just <laughs> trying, like treasure chest yeah. <laughs> all right all right sorry that was, a, that was a long preamble sorry guys yeah, so the movie. <laughs> yeah, what were we talking? About? What were we reviewing again? Uh, I, th- I think it was uh, Resident Evil. Oh, yeah, regeneration. D- yeah, re- regeneration. <laughs> yeah, yeah, regeneration. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's fucking dive in. So the movie. That was good. That was a good callback. You gonna, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the movie. That that's that's the plot. Yeah. It was a movie. Two thousand eight animated action horror game. God, movie. I honestly cannot believe it came out in two thousand eight. I thought it was 2005. Was it 2008? Yeah, it was. Dude, like, it seemed like the... It just feels like it's earlier than that. Yeah. When did Advent Children come out? Like 2001, I think. No, because uh, Spirits Within was... Oh, Advent Children, it was like... 2002, right? I think it was 2007. It was part of their big... Uh, Let's jerk off 10 years before Final 2007, Fantasy 7. so it was like a year before that. And, and looks the animation's four better. times as good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing kind of looks like shit. It's honestly. pretty janky. It didn't age well at all. I'm sure, like during then, like we, if we, when we, I we first watched it, I didn't have a problem. I bought it when it was new. Yeah. Wait, no, I didn't. I bought it when it was probably like a year and a half Fucking old. Fucking liar. A couple of years. So I didn't have any money in 2008. I was only hmm. 17 years old. No, maybe I did buy it. I don't fucking know. I don't know. I bought it when it was newer, and I I watched it once, and I was like, oh, it's a good movie. I don't feel that way anymore, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it starts out. Um, I believe this is after Resident Evil Two, but before Resident Evil Four. Um, you were saying it was I after it three, is. right? I thought it. Well, it had to be after three because three and two happen simultaneously. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Even with the remake stuff, it happens simultaneously. I think I'll tell you actually. Let me look. I think I think that there's there was a timeline. So it's known in Japan as biohazard degeneration. I wish it was biohazard regeneration in Japan. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> um, this is stupid. So the director is Makoto Kamiya, and it's actually the first full-length motion capture CG animation feature in Capcom's wait, Resident wait. Evil franchise. Motion capture? Apparently. <laughs> what, what did they motion capture? Because fucking... The technology must have been like horrid. Yeah, but it was their first their first go at it too. So maybe it was a, well, more of a learning. Still experience. though, like the fucking animation of the people was so janky and like wrong looking. It was jarring. Yeah, like I've seen cutscenes from like the actual games that look better than that. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I don't know, man. So like even for Resident Evil Four, which was on PS Two. <laughs> The, the motion is more natural. Yeah, I mean, can you at least appreciate the fact that it's canonized and it's actually set in the universe? No, I can't, as because the there was actions. no plot, and nothing happened in that entire fucking movie. Yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> the entirety of the story was, like, in the last five minutes, where it turns out that Tricell bought out the company because they were, like, trying to fuck with shit. Yeah. that That's literally it, because, like... <laughs> <clears throat> the in- the first part of the movie is like they're in a fucking airport and then randomly there's like zombies and they were talking about this senator who they oh, believe shit. is like behind some shit. This game's after Resident Evil 4. <laughs> oh, really? But, yeah, I'm looking at the timeline right now. That makes sense. Uh, Does that, it? That bugs me a little bit. Kind of, because, I mean, they were talking about how Resident Evil 2 happened seven <laughs> years ago in this movie. Yeah, that should have been the first clue. So, yeah, so it looks like... Yeah, that's why I was like, really? Is there that big of a fucking gap between, like, Resi 2 and 4 yeah. over seven Guess years? Not. Yeah, so it's 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 after Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil Revelations. So, yeah, Degeneration, then 5... The movie made 403 or 43 million, what is it, yen in Japan? Uh, which is $403,000. So that's kind of like, eh. I, I thought it cost How much, that much did it cost to make, to say? They don't have a budget on here. Um, so the last animated movie is before seven. 
Okay. So, like, all the movies are, yeah, okay. I thought it was between, like, two and three, because, yeah, seven years would make sense. Yeah, I was like, that's that's what was weird for me, but I was like, oh, if Zach says so, I guess I believe him. I miss, yeah, it had been a while. Fucking liar. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, movie starts out in the Harvard, Harvardville Airport. Uh, a T-virus attack happens, which is in a really sh- stupid way. So there's this yeah. senator that's coming that's, like, associated with the zombie company. <laughs> the biggest jowls and gordy you've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, he looks like Penguin from Arkham City, except mixed for he just... with... Oh, Nixon. Oh, yeah, mixed with Nixon. Uh, just without, like, the fucking broken bottle, like, in his eye. Yeah. Uh, so his name's Ron Davis. Um who is against this company called TerraSave, who's supposed to be, like, an anti, fucking, I don't know, the anti, like, terror thing, fucking whatever. Uh, and it's retarded. Oh, but it only turns out there's one terrorist, and it's Edward Carnby yeah. from the Alone <laughs> in the Dark series. That's his job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's a detective. That's his job. On the weekends, That's he's That's how he's terrorist. employed. Yeah. This is where he makes his... He, he is his own boss. <laughs> This is where the rubber hits the road. <laughs> so the virus. Okay, so there's this, there's guys protesting the senator because they think he's involved with Umbrella, and they're like in zombie costumes. Yeah. And they said you should just arrest, just arrest him. The guy's like, they have American <laughs> rights. Not anymore. Yeah. Uh, so uh, one of the one of the guys is pretending to be a zombie and being a douche. Um, he gets arrested and he looks like a fucking hippie, of course. Well, he isn't quite arrested. Oh, yeah, I guess he does get handcuffed. But yeah. dude, wait, wait, how was Claire feel... involved with that dude? By the way, because like she she well she tore the mask off and the guy's like, are you involved with this guy? And she's like, well, I guess kinda. And he's like, you're coming with me. Well, that doesn't even make sense. She's not even kind of involved. She just like. Pulled his mask off. It's because she. Well, oh, you know what? She was probably because she was actually kind of part of the protesters, in a roundabout way, because it was like with that corporation that was like trying to like bring him down. So I think maybe that's what she meant when she said that. But it's still a stupid way of wording it. Yeah, because she didn't have to say anything like that. Like, oh, you was a guy like nah, I just took. Yeah, because like it, it, it kind of implied that she knew that guy, <laughs> yeah. and that's like why she pulled the mask but off. As, as well, the cop was around there anyway, so he saw what was going on. He saw the guy walk up to the senator and her take the yeah. mask off. So I mean, like, I don't know. yeah, I don't know. It's fucking dumb. There's a little, this little Indian girl. Yeah, as well, she's part, big part of the film. And then Aunt. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, all this is happening, and one of the, you know, Claris is hanging out, and she starts talking to this dapper old British guy for, like, two seconds. He interrupts them having a I conversation. I don't understand American humor. Yeah. This is his first line in the show. Yeah. It's like, or American uh, politics or something? No, I, I think said humor, says. wasn't it? Uh, there's nothing humorous about the fucking, like... <laughs> Ron Dave. Oh yeah, no, I think it was humor because he like <clears throat> made, made a, a stupid. Yeah, he made a stupid joke about Indians or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so they're hanging out, and then he gets up to leave because he's like, I, I'm because they're they're waiting for a ride. Like she's waiting to get in this like this. She says it's a limousine, but we see the car at the end. It's not a fucking limousine. Oh yeah, <clears throat> yeah. It's just so a she, fucking car. They're both waiting for their rides, and he gets up and he's like, "I'm tired of waiting." And he's like, "I'll see you later." And then just like walks off. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Yeah, so and, weirdly yeah. suspicious, right? And then, then a zombie, like another guy in a mask, comes up. But you find out it's not a mask. That's a zombie. And dickhead cop number one that gets tried to arrest Claire wrecked. gets wrecked. And everybody handles the situation like a fucking idiot. Uh, what I want to know here's a question for you. How did that zombie get all the way in there and not attack anybody until he got to the cop? Where did the zombie come from? Ooh, maybe the British dude like injected someone on his way out. Maybe. Like maybe he injected someone like like in like a little like area. Well, like, in, like, no, I think it was if they him. did that. I think it would have been the um, Edward Carnby guy. Oh, he was because like there. she she bumped into or Claire bumps into him um, when the panic starts like happening with a bunch of people. Okay, yeah, then. and we know it's Carnby because he has a twelve barrel revolver. <laughs> yeah, and, and his hair is really <laughs> fucking long and Dude, nasty. What, what an asshole, though. And he's wearing like, a trench coat to like infect someone else. Though, if it was him, when his whole thing is like, I want to stop this from happening everywhere because my family died in Raccoon City. <laughs> and so you cause so, more. Yeah, of it. it's like what. <laughs> Yeah, and, and like they kept talking about the like this terrorist group that's like attacking them, but it's like it's literally one guy. 
Like, that's not a terrorist group. Mm-hmm. It's a terrorist individual. Yeah. He identifies it's as a, literally just as Edward a terror Carnby. person. Yeah. A terror person. A terror person. <laughs> yeah, a terror person. Uh, so that happens. That guy starts chomping on people. The a POT, a person of terror. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> person of terror. <laughs> That's that's gonna be the new PC term for it. Person of terror. Person of terrorist. It's person of terror. We don't we don't use terrorist anymore. It's person of terror. (laughs) Person from which terror (laughs) flows. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Catalyst of terror. Uh, yeah, so, like, the, the, the way they handle this fucking zombie is absolute ass, because, like, he takes down the fucking cop, and then, like, the other guy, uh, kills the zombie, and then Claire's like, hey, watch out, the dude was bit, and then he's like, what? And then he, like, looks <laughs> down at the fucking cop dude, and he, like, sits the there and stares at him for, like, five to ten seconds as <laughs> the fucking cop dude opens his eyes and then slowly, like, goes for his leg. And he just stands there and lets it happen. He doesn't even, like, turn to shoot him or anything. <laughs> he's just like, and then he dies. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> how so everybody handles zombies in this fucking movie. Like, the entire <clears throat> time, they just, like, panic and run, and then, like... Do you all think you'd, like, just panic and run, though? Like, Well, I mean, like, the normal people, sure, because they don't have anything to fucking kill the zombies with. But, this like, guy was an airport fucking... cop. What kind of train do you think no, he No, no, no. He was the fucking, like, bodyguard for oh, yeah. the That's senator right. guy. Yeah, he's, like, secret he service He knows what's level. up. Right. Like, and he just sits there and fucking lets the cop zombie bite him in his the ankles. Other, so... The other one gets bitten, eaten, too, doesn't he? Yeah, both, of them, all yeah of sudden, both of them die, and then like, all the sudden, senator's left alone, and that's why he has to like, go right. with Claire and shit. But like, yeah. all of a sudden, there's a horde. Yeah. Like, it goes from there's this like one, like, trickling in, and then just, yeah, all of a sudden, there's a horde before the airplane crashes Yeah, in. yeah. And, and then, then and, yeah. fucking God. And then there's, like, the random, like, this random scene where the, there's dude, this dude's on a plane, he's like, oh, I don't know what's going on, and then he, like, hands the fucking, like, lady something. That's what he said, was it? Oh, he's like, you need I, to I, get I, this I, very specific message to this very specific man, and he's like, yeah. okay, sir, sit down, please, shut and the fuck up. Yeah, and, and, then, and then his, like, hand is all rotted and shit, and then she starts screaming. I love, I love how they put that in there it's like the god it's like the laziest uh plot device uh what is that called when you like use something to further the point foreshadowing explain it no it's not foreshadowing. exposition exposition yeah it's 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 the laziest exposition possible it's like please get this message to this very specific person he's like talking to a flight attendant she's like Sir, I don't know what you're fucking talking about right now. I'm about to get off my shift. Can you please just leave me alone? I will not meet you at your hotel. With your nasty fucking hands, please, sir. (laughs) It's also fucking stupid because, like, he starts an outbreak on that plane, and then the zombies are somehow perfectly able to land the plane exactly where they needed to be. They didn't land it. They crashed it. Well, yeah, they crashed it, but, like... They were Still already. Doesn't make any sense. I mean, all I'm saying is, like, I'm not going to defend this movie, but they were already on the descent. That's why everyone was like, that's what they were doing. She was making sure everyone was like hooked into their seats for the descent. Yeah. But how did it break uh, out that fucking hard that fast? That's what though? I'm saying. But like, even in the airport, like, there went from one zombie biting a person and to a fucking, horde. Yeah. And then the plane comes in and slams into the building. Everyone almost dies. And then they all dies. start falling out of the plane. Yeah. No. But no. They're, but then the still door totally... flies. Yeah, the, the door and, flies open. It's like, goosh, 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 goosh. and then they're all totally fine. Like they didn't just get made into zombie pudding by slamming into the <laughs> ground. <laughs> My favorite was them falling out of the airplane. They're just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like, like flops. <laughs> just like, I don't know. Yeah, so fucking funny. <laughs> Which I mean, like, it's pretty realistic from like watching like Resident Evil shit. Like they're just like falling off, like yeah, but uh, but yeah, like the fucking zombies weren't buckled in like anymore. So they just, oh like, yeah, dude, they, they how do they know how to work the, the them, buckles? Them fucking being slammed, yeah, exactly. Like getting out of the restraints, they they wouldn't know how to do that in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're too smart Second for of all. Movie. The fucking like stupid Japanese the plane, bastards. The plane <laughs> slamming into the airport <laughs> would have caused them all to like fly into one direction to get smushed. Like I, I don't fucking know how they yeah. survived. You know, you would think even of, as zombies, you would think of almost all people. Japan knows what happens when you slam a plane into something. <laughs> <laughs> you would think they but, might not know as much as a certain other group of people, but they definitely know. Yeah, person. These are terror. Americans. You don't pa- understand. For people of terror. Yeah. <laughs> People of terror understand. <laughs> uh, 
it, yeah, uh, it's weird. Why the fuck are they even alive? And you're right. How did they get out of their seats? Like, yeah, like it doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> and if they if there was enough force for them to like rip out of their seatbelts, shouldn't they have like turned into zombie pudding yeah, against the door? Yeah, or the they front? should have been pudding. Just um, like a fucking <laughs> of everyone slamming but, together. <laughs> but yeah, and then Claire has to escape with the little girl and the senator. Um, and then it just gets like fucking weird from there because it's literally just like nothing but killing zombies the, the and plot, trying to the escape. The plot of the movie was trying to escape the airport. Yeah, I thought Basically, it was. I thought it was. The, so there was a scene earlier where the senator was like saying, "Get me out of here! Do everything you can! Clear those people out! Like free them up!" And then he's like super almighty, and then he's like walking around in a baseball cap, like hiding himself. Oh, that yeah, was pretty yeah. funny. That was a good scene because it was like it's obviously you, and the little girl's like, "It's the man." Not only, yeah, it's not only. It's the bad man. God. Claire's like, shut up. Man. Don't call people out in public. <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone runs up to him like, we're going to interview him. Yeah, and then everything breaks Bro, out. Bro, and the interview chick gets fucked. Like, her camera oh, yeah. guy sees a zombie coming, and he just like. Yeah, he doesn't even worry. <laughs> he just like, drops uh, the camera and runs. Fuck off and die, bitch. <laughs> she probably was a bitch, like, off camera, though. Like, Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, <clears throat> you're nothing without me. I am yeah. the star of this. She had cast. a puss face, I will say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that dude was like, "Fuck this bitch." And it's like it's an animated movie, so you know they meant to give her one. So uh, yeah, yeah. It's not like a. It's not like a me thinking maybe it's a puss face. It's like they drew it that way. <laughs> kind of a thing, yeah. So. So yeah. So it, uh, but it yeah, cuts it's to just, nighttime. Um. Yeah, basically they've been trying to survive the whole night, and then they have like this military group that. It's like, oh, we need to go rescue these people. Where we meet the most um, important character, and Tom the, from Tsunami. Yeah, Tom from Tsunami. And then uh, and Laura Bailey's character. And um, they kept saying, uh, they said something like, oh, there's like some new guy that's going to come help us out. And, like we gotta, They said a specialist, didn't they? Called yeah, a specialist. It's a specialist. And then Leon's like, oh, I don't know about yeah. that. As he like walks in like a fucking edgelord badass. <laughs> well, and we know that Laura Bailey's character is going to be a good person because she's 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 like arguing with her police chief or whoever the commander is. Oh, yeah, is and she's being played by Laura save, Bailey. Yeah, to save the people. I love Laura Bailey. <laughs> to, save, to save the people. And she's like... Hey, she slams the phone because the chief just doesn't get it. Yeah. yeah. He just Fuck you. Understand. You don't understand. We have to save people. Yeah. This was pre this is pre Abby badass too. This is Yeah. Yeah, 2008. So this is an actual fun character. Yeah, when good. when you have when you have sex with this character, you don't have to move the ball sack out of the way. <laughs> Quite in the same way you do with Abby. Is that a scrotum? <laughs> 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 Just kind of like slide that sack right out of the way. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It's the things we do for love, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, uh, oh, sorry, it, babe, your balls got in the way. Wouldn't that make it harder <laughs> since he did it from behind? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't her balls be touching his dick? They're that big. He just just like, don't like, think stupid. about it. They're like they're like goat balls. <laughs> like he had to just like slap. <laughs> it, would, it, would just be, it would just be like slapping her balls against his fucking yeah. like. What does that sound like? You know that area. you know that sound when you're walking down the stairs real fast and your ball sack is slapping against your leg. Like, <laughs> is it going to be the same sound when your balls are hitting other balls? Or like, it's probably going it... to sound like a flip flop when you're running in a flip. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Or like those little uh, like little like ball on string things that they had yeah, like the fucking what are those called? Yeah, I can't remember. Like the, just, uh, the the pendulum ball yeah. things. I don't I don't remember <laughs> what they're called. Yeah, it's like that. It's yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Where's that? She's so they uh, yeah they go and they're gonna like go in and they're gonna save or see if there's anyone in there. No, they know because Claire sends them an SOS. Please, someone help me. Yeah, and then for yeah, the, the police for, and, and, and they're going in after the the senator dude. Yeah, they're going in after um, Richard Nixon. Yeah, uh, and then they eventually meet up, and then there's like more zombies that they have to fucking try to get. Yeah, uh, and then, and then the best joke in the and movie, then, the best joke in the movie is coming up when they make Claire go out to see if she can find anyone, and they give her an actual umbrella that looks like the umbrella. Logo. Oh my god! Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. She's like, oh, did you get God. it, Craig? Yeah, I got it. Did you get I, I understood. No, did you, did you fucking, get how funny? You she how specifically funny fucking mentioned it. She's like, oh man, this is kind of ironic. You, but do you get how funny that is? And like, why? I, I, yeah, I got it. I don't think you get it because you I, didn't laugh. I understood. You didn't laugh but, in the movie. Trust me, I understood. It's funny because it's red and white, and that's the logo. Yeah, I, and I, the I, logo is called Umbrella. Like the cor- the, cor- the company is Umbrella Corporation. Yeah, do you get oh, it? Oh, is it? Yeah, do you get it? Yeah. So oh, when you're on the umbrella. Okay. I just got it just now. I knew it. I knew you laughed. Wait, 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 wait. If you got it, why aren't you laughing? Thank you for explaining Yeah, you're not laughing, so it's not as good. (laughs) You're just not funny. Your sense of humor is broken. Craig, it's... You know what? I I think it's just because it's not in the moment anymore. I just, like, you had to explain it to me. Yeah, that's true. When you have to explain a joke, it's not funny anymore. Yeah. It's not. But do, you, but do you really get it though? Like that's because yeah, like, I, okay, I, I understand just, that. I don't want you to be that, the only one in the room that didn't understand. Now the that you've explained it to me, I understand. I don't know. You've never played a Resident Evil game, so I don't know if like I, I played two of them. Well, actually, I played three. Oh really? I didn't know. Two that. completion. Yeah. Craig doesn't do anything to completion. Even what seven, two, and and four and four? Okay. I, I, I played games. like an hour of one, like the remake, and I don't like it. I gotta go back. I don't and, like it. I gotta go back and beat that. Like. I'm almost done with that game. I could be in seven or eight of them now. Anyway, yeah. Well, yeah. I will. We'll believe that you got it, even though we don't know. Sure yeah. Just, if you well, got it, you would be yeah. you would be rolling you, on the ground. Yeah, you would have laughed I'm, as hard I'm, as I'm, me. It's and just Nate not in the moment be, anymore. Like be, it's not. It's the jokes are always best upon delivery. You'd be rough lolling right now, Greg. Rough lolling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you're not. You're, you're just. Yeah. You're just. You're bleeding. not even chair laughing. You're just. <laughs> Me and Schweizer are just worried about your sense of humor is all. Like we just want to make sure it's working. It, it is because me. that's yeah, that it, it, that's a symptom of coronavirus. You lose taste, smell, and you don't fucking laugh. Yeah. <laughs> and you go the route of the goatee. There's mm. like there, <laughs> yeah. there are signs, it, Craig. Yeah. And you start gelling your hair. There are all signs. Of a sudden. <laughs> there are signs, and then the sweaters. Yeah, and the sweaters. <laughs> and you stop playing You're games with the homies. You're referencing things that nobody can see. <laughs> Think but, of it. But we can, <laughs> and that's what makes it funny. <laughs> Think of it. It's a sweater. Uh, Craig, Craig's wearing a very dapper sweater today. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so she goes out, and she's she's kind of like, she hears noises, but doesn't see anything. They do that good Resident Evil ambiance sounds in there. And she turns a corner, and she sees, she can't see who it is, but we know it is Leon. And he's like, duck. And she ducks fast. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> and she's like, Leon, what are you doing here? And, and he's, he's like, like I'm love. saving your ass. Yeah, and I'm he like kills fuck. zombies. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm We're, here for two things, Claire. I'm here to kill zombies and fuck. And I'm all out of zombies. Yeah, yeah I'm all out of zombies to kill. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, so they meet up, and then there's like another horde that they have to try to take care of to like get out. Hey, the flight attendant um, survived. I didn't even think about that. Did she? Yeah, she got out. How the fuck did she survive that? She got out. I just you, thought about it. You're right. I, she does. I live. don't remember where. Where did you see her? Remember, again? she's in the room with the with the guys. When I don't they know. Come what the, I don't know. If it's the same flight attendant, but it's a flight attendant that looked pretty similar to the one that he gave the card to. So, but like, yeah, she gets That's out. That's straight up bullshit. Um, yeah, especially up. because we lose two Nami Tom. She was probably in the bathroom, <laughs> yeah, doing her makeup. Her. And she waited for everyone to like get out. Oh yeah! That's when she screamed, that's where she ran. Tom from Toonami totally dies. He gets bit <sighs> on the arm, and then he like fucking unloads his gun onto the zombies. Even, and then, and then even even, shoot even after even after Leon like berates him like he's a fucking idiot for like just randomly shooting a bunch of zombies instead of going for headshots. Um, I know they, that's the only way to kill him. I know they were going for dramatic effect by having him show up as a zombie in the horde, like five seconds later. But if it was me in that situation, as someone who had been bit, I would have unloaded as many shots as I could have, and then I would have fucking blew my own brains out. So I'm not turning into a zombie. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not um, doing it. And, then, and then we get this fucking stupid scene where uh, the little girl falls down the hole after the senator guy. Fucking pushes her. And, yeah. And, uh... So she's down there, and she just, like, sees the zombies very, very, very slowly shambling towards her. And so she completely sh- shuts down, just sits there, and lets them come towards her. Doesn't even try to run away. Um, and so Claire goes down to, like, help her out. and But instead of picking her up and getting the fuck out of there, she just sits there and holds her protectively. Like, that's going to do fucking anything it saved harry potter and then she has to wait 
like 30 seconds for Leon to be like, all right, I guess I can loan you a second gun. Yeah, he pulls and out. So he fucking does this badass throw yeah, of this like fucking ta- gun like, like it's a fucking throwing and knife. She, and she, she kicks, catches no, it. No, she kicks it first. She roundhouse kicks a zombie yeah. in the face. Oh, yeah. She does this fucking kick catch thing. And catches and, it with and, the And barrel. then she starts blasting Great. the shit out of zombies. She has a cool hand thing, though. Like she catches it and she's like, really guns it. Yeah, she does some yeah. uh, some Doc Holiday Cause, shit because she learned that him. from Raccoon City. Oh yeah, she yeah, did. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was ridiculous. Um, yeah. And then plot one is finished. And I love how I love how Leon <laughs> yeah, is like yeah. he's getting like fucking pounded by this zombie. He's like on top of him, and he has the time to like Claire. Claire, he's like having a conversation with her as she's <laughs> yeah, about to get devoured, about, yeah. and he just fucking like you're all right. He just fucking tomahawk throws his gun over to her. Yeah. Chout. <laughs> and then and then he has a second gun the whole time. Yeah, that, that, that he, he has me a multiple lot. guns and he just doesn't lend her one before yeah, she chooses probably, to jump down Claire, there. Claire well, should have. He would have been like, she would have been like, oh, why didn't you give me a gun? He's like, I can't give you my second gun. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, stupid? Like, How am I supposed why didn't to be, you bring a gun? How what am I you? supposed to be an edgelord badass if I don't have a bunch of guns? Do you think it was just like to carry on the umbrella joke? He's like, <laughs> probably. Yeah, I, only have, I, don't know, I only have one. Yeah, she's not allowed to have a gun because they had to like insert that in there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I was saying like the, when we were watching it, the most unrealistic thing about the movie is one, there's no herbs. There's no spray, <laughs> and he didn't carry. He didn't have to find any of his pouches. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> he was fully equipped, and we know for a fucking fact that they're never in this fully universe. Equipped. They're never fully equipped ever until the end. Okay. I was looking at the time. Oh, I was like, that's yeah, a dirty text. I'm looking at. Oh, it. is it really? <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Did you read my sex? Yeah, I read my sex when I'm on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah, so like. Yeah, dude, he just didn't. Why the fuck wouldn't you give her a gun? I don't understand. Like, we're here to save you. Oh, Leon, I, you know I'm good with a gun. You've seen me shoot. He's like, nah, fuck you. You're a woman. That's <laughs> yeah. what I expect the conversation was because he's an edge lord. Yeah. Um, and then we got the uh, them escaping that horde, going after the senator guy. And then there's like the other group that's there for reinforcements. Yeah. They're like, hey, yeah, we, we're safe now. And then. Woo. <laughs> so yeah that's the and, end of plot one but yeah that's the end of plot one and then plot, plot two starts happening the little, where yeah, the little uh, did we know on yeah, the that, where they're like oh like this was all done by a terrorist organization not by this group of people who were like you know trying to help out by creating a terrorist t- a thing for the t virus and that's where they rebring back the british guy because he's yeah the, like the he's, lead he's like the researcher. lead researcher yeah yeah and of then, uh of uh will pharma is what will it's called. pharma yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah it brings him back and he's like they're bringing a cure and they're like everyone freaks and like you had a cure and like and, then and she's Leon's like, <laughs> like, yeah, like they've worked but on they, it. Like, but oh. they weren't uh, ready to like test it or anything. No, no, I, I, thought, like, I thought it was be, like, the, field I, like they got like they got pushed into a corner is what he said. Well, yeah. He's yeah, like, they, we got like pushed into a corner so we couldn't like distribute these because everyone thought we were evil. Well, yeah, because like the the testing that they were doing in India got like attacked by some other Because terrorists. the testing they were doing was on people. <laughs> Yeah, like full stop. They were full testing on people to see if they could fix it. Yeah, because yeah. not that shit's not illegal in India. Yeah. But so then there's a plot like a like a like a plot hook where you find out like this the cop lady's brother is like a suspected terrorist. Yeah, and he's a suspected. She's like he would never do that, even though I haven't seen him for yeah, three years. And then, and then the penguin is like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't think that he's a terrorist, why don't you bring him here right now? Yeah. yeah. And it's like, yeah, right now? Come on. But then she does. Yeah. And so yeah. She, she goes to she, goes, she and Leon go to his house and are and like. Claire leaves with the British dude. That's yeah, important. She, she like, leaves with the doing? British dude. And, and like, then the fucking like tea. penguin looks at them leaving in the car all suspicious. Like, it's like, hmm. I thought he smiled. No, he doesn't smile. He like shakes his head and squints. And he's like, yeah. no. So yeah, and then, and then so like our heroes split. Yeah, like and, every and then uh, and so they fucking like get to her brother's house, which is on fire, which yeah. is a huge fire concern because they don't call the fucking fire department. You were very, <laughs> very. It, you were more interested in what this fire would do, dude. Okay, the entire menace. house is ablaze. Like it's been going on for quite some time for it to be that okay, much but like, on fire. But to the listeners like, who weren't here watching it, all Craig on said fire. for five minutes, like, yeah, I should probably call the fire department. 
Why haven't you called the fire department? Dude, the guy lives. Stop at, crying the, and call the fire department. That's the, all the we guy, heard for five minutes. The guy minutes. lives in the middle of nowhere. The entire house is obviously like completely fucked. He's in the middle. Since he's in the middle of nowhere, that entire like it's dead area is gonna get <laughs> caught on fire. It's gonna cause this huge fucking thing. And they're just sitting there being like, yeah, I lost my, my brother lost his brother or his wife and child and blah, blah, blah. Here's my whole life story. I want to fuck you. In front you. of the flames. Yeah, yeah in oh, front yeah. of the flames. And she's telling this fucking sob story. And Leon's just like, yeah, all right. All right. And yeah, then she sure, tells like, like her story about like jumping and in this fucking, And the fucking house is just still on fire. Yeah, and it's you were fucking, very, and, very concerned about the wildlife yeah, in that area. Yeah, obviously. Because that shit's going to fucking like, they're not going to use that fire to kill the zombies. You don't know that. They're trying to save the people. Listen. And they're just going to let that fucking house in the middle of nowhere just burn to the ground which, with a fucking very intense flame. Which we do find out he is a, he's a terrorist. Like, he's the one who burns. Oh, yeah, he's totally a terrorist. He's also Edward. Well, I mean, I'm sorry, a person of terror. Person yeah, of P-O-T, terror. Yeah, P.O.T., sorry. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I gotta be woke. And, and, he's, <laughs> yeah, and he's totally a fucking Edward Copy, by the way. Um. So then it goes back, like, between their bullshit uh, to... Firma, whatever. I keep on calling it Terra Firma. No, it's not right. <laughs> but so it's Big Pharma. It's yeah, all right. Yeah, or Will Pharma, but Big Pharma. Yeah, Will. Is yeah, Will Pharma. So it goes there, and Jill. Not Jill. Fuck Claire. Claire is talking to this British dapper man, and he's talking to her about like all the like all these different things. And this dude PTSDs the shit out of her, and shows a picture of the William Birkin monster from Number Two, which she fought. And she freaks out. She's like, why do you have this? And he's like, oh, because we were going to build a, a cure. Yeah, he was going to cure the G virus as well as the T virus. Yeah, very suspicious. Um, so she freaks out, and he's like, yeah, not even the government knows about it, but it's like, very clearly that senator dude knows about it. So it's like, yeah. the government probably knows about it. Well, the senator dude calls, too, and he like basically is like, don't show her what we've been up to. Don't show her my dick pics. Oh, yeah. And so when when uh, fucking the penguin calls, it shows us the <laughs> cock-sucking angle of the camera. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. his, his, his legs choice. are like very wide open. We're yeah. down where his cock is, and we're looking up at him like we're fucking the, sucking his dick. I think the most fucked up part is because of that angle and because like we're we're watching the movie, they gave us all dick sucking eyes. <laughs> like we all were staring at him in the face. Yeah. While he was ignoring us, pleasuring him on his phone. That kind of hurt a little bit too. Yeah. Um, Penguins yeah. used to it, so I mean, I don't know. So so yeah. So then it kind of goes into like he he all of a sudden gets like he's like oh no something's going on I have to check this out and he like leaves his office. And then he calls up there where Jill is, and he's like, oh, I'm in this one area, like, level four. And she's like, I thought you were going to this different area. And he's like, I saw a person of interest, a P.O.T. Person of terror, yeah. <laughs> and, he's like, yeah per- and he's like, and I followed them. I think he actually says terrorist, and then she says, um, no, excuse he says me, someone it's suspicious. person of terror. Yeah. Oh, if you yeah. didn't know, <laughs> Claire's haircut in this movie is bald, but it's, like, dyed green. And so <laughs> she, she's a feminist. And so... <laughs> She uh, she goes through the window and you see Edward Carnby yeah. walking out, like looking suspicious as fuck. That's and, still it. And, he, and he has like a suitcase in his hands, yeah. and then like and the phone d- cuts out. Yeah, and then the phone cuts out, and there's like a big ass fucking explosion. Um, and she's totally safe from it for some reason, even though like half of the floor that she was standing in is like fucking completely gone. And I mean, destroyed. She, yeah. she does get impaled with a glass shard in her leg. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah, a tiny ass glass shard in her leg, which causes her to fucking limp. But like the entire yeah. floor is fucking destroyed, Boy, and she, she's like, that's the only injury that she sustains. That's true. I feel like there should have been more glass cuts, if anything, too. Like, yeah. Whatever it's it's we, we've we've already established the animation isn't great in this <laughs> fucking in this half one. the room and half the floor are missing and the only thing that happened is she like limps a yeah, little. She's a, Claire's a tough bitch, bro. I don't have to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but so then it goes back to oh, Leon. And the, I don't remember. <laughs> That's how good this movie was. Um, because Leon and the chick go back, right? Where do they go back to? Oh no! Calls. Claire calls him before the explosion, telling him oh, about right. what uh, what they learned about 
Yeah, every time Leon's the... about to get laid, he gets a phone call. Yeah, it's, uh, it's true. Like she's, she's got her mouth <laughs> open and his dick is about to go in, and it's like. Oh, like, Leon, are you about to get laid? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Only I can lay you. You uh, have a government work. Excellent timing, then. I need you to come here. I believe we've had a POT attack. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, that was like my. They're, they've like, been experimenting with the G virus. We need you to get over here. I need you to find my G spot virus. Come on. <laughs> He's like, what? Yeah. Um, I, I liked her little cameo in it, though, too. Like the, the, the chick from 4. I thought it was kind of cool. The gold government chick. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, the phone chick. I was chick, like, yeah. ah, that's kind of cool. Like, that's, that's pretty sweet. Like, for me, like, I was playing, I was like, ah, that's cool. But so, yeah, so you're right. The phone cuts out, and he's like, I gotta save her. Yeah, and then they yeah. Leave, finally they leave the flaming house, which, yeah. of course, was burned down by Edward Carnby well, himself. Well, by then, <laughs> they weren't even standing in front of the burning house. They were somewhere else entirely overlooking, like, the city. Oh, and this is a very important <laughs> part. She actually finds a photo of their family there. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, she, or, was it there, or did she have it in her It was there. Wallet. It was oh. on the ground. Oh, yeah. Also, great Resident Evil callback. You find useless shit. You put it in your uh, your case. Yeah. And you always use it later. Yeah. If it seems like it's stupid, pick it up. Yeah, and so stuff she it has in your this pocket. picture of like her with her brother's family before he became like, oh. Carnby. Yeah, before he became Edward Carnby. Yeah. Before, before he the lost detective. everything. Before he found useful employment and fulfilling yeah, yeah, employment before as a detective. Found, like, <laughs> so yeah, so like it's so, that's his for, job for some <laughs> magical reason. Like he's employed. He's employed. <laughs> he looks down on those standing in line for a handout. <laughs> Edward Carnby. <laughs> He looks down on those who get their hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> but so the, the Leon and the chick get there like the perfect timing for nothing to have happened yet. Yeah, yeah. And then it, all hell breaks loose shortly yeah. thereafter. Yeah. Everyone's the army's raiding the area. Um uh terrorist guy is he starts morphing. Yep, he mutates. Classic Resident Evil. Turns into the BB. Yep. Yep. And I was thinking and, about this. And, like, and like, one arm gets much bigger than the other. And he gets the, the eye. He gets an extra eye that you know that's where you're supposed to shoot and not one fucking person shot him in the eye. Nope. Yeah. Which is really weird. Except for Leon throws a knife in it later, but still. Does he? Yeah. That's, that. he, it's that's, like how they really get, that's how they get away the first time. Yeah. Because he gets the eye and then he's like... <laughs> like freaks yeah, well, it healed then because like, the eye yeah, was have fine. Yeah, have you not played the games? They always heal. Yeah, man. Come on. Why is it a weakness if it can just heal again? Well, because it's, you, you gotta you shoot it until shooting, it gets yeah. really, really red. Yeah, you have to shoot it until it pops. You don't just shoot it once. You're like, nah, it's okay. You gotta give it but a pink eye. If it yeah. just regenerates, then what's the point? It didn't regenerate. He just didn't hit it more than once. Like, he just hit it once. Uh, like, he just did one thing. You have to just keep shooting it. Yeah, you keep shooting it until it explodes. So yeah. like the single throwing knife. Yeah, and then he closes work. the eye, and then it opens again. Which yeah. I actually thought it was pretty cool. The like the Birkin monster, like the G virus. Like I thought that was cool. Yeah. That in. Um. Yeah. So then you find like he starts mutating, and he's like actually talking to his sister, and he's like, "Get out of here!" And he mutates, and he starts fucking up the uh, the military. And one guy gets a double a double team kill when he gets hit. And oh he shoots yeah. Him, and he shoots the rocket. Yeah, the mortar, <laughs> and kills his team. Yeah, the, the rocket propelled grenade. Yeah. Jackass. Yeah, what a bitch. Yeah. Um, everyone's just getting fucked. Uh, everyone's getting laid out. And this is guy. only his first form. Yeah, this isn't even full boss mode. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, he, uh, Leon sends Claire to, like, get out, and then she goes up to, like, the control room instead. And then all of a sudden she can walk better, even though she's still limping, but she's walking faster than she was before. Yeah. Um, I don't even remember what so happens next. So Leon <laughs> goes back to save the cop chick, and while they're fighting, and, like, so they're, they're trying to get some of, like, the... the army that's alive away <clears throat> and he starts engaging with the creature and, oh, but the, yeah. and the and creature's then, like not actively like starts he starts to like start like training attention to her and we get the best plot device for this movie yeah. which is you're the same blood he wants to mate with you <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The that's fuck right he came out of nowhere yeah. yeah so yeah he's like they sh- you share the same blood and so he's like the, you're vi- per- you're the like virus wants to like spread through her so he wants to like he was gonna As he's saying that, through. he's got like a raging boner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's canonical that the G virus is incestuous. Yeah. Um, yeah. Confirmed. Thanks, yeah. Konami. Capcom. Uh, yeah, it's Capcom. It's um, Capcom. Konami guys already. And, and so <laughs> the uh, the place starts flooding, um, and so fucking what's his name. Leon and the the cop. No, chick that's that's like, that, oh yeah. They doesn't start flooding. It's when they jump in. They jump into the. The water, don't they? That was a while ago. 
You know, totally it? skip past that. That, no. that was our whole like uh, <clears throat> our joke. No, that's like that's when they're fighting. It's gonna explode when the monster. Oh no, you're right. Yeah, because they think like so because that's first phase. Remember? And then yeah, because he's, like, he's like, look away, and she like like comes to him and he shoots the the, the scaffolding down and it crashes on the monster because they think he's dead. But they both they're like, oh, I'll chill, and the monster like breaks out and then jumps up and starts destroying the top and they jump into the water. Which, yeah. Which yeah. So when they jump in the water. He's like giving her air or some bullshit, but they're totally making out. Yeah. yeah. He totally puts one mitt in the oven, too. Like, I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> you look closely. Dude, he, and then he, and then he shoots so some long. glass, and then they like get out through there. What um, you find out is the floor of this building starts falling out into a giant oven. Yeah, and then Claire does something to like release a bunch of pressure, and then it like kind of like fucks. Yeah, I, I do that. I do that when I jack off. You yeah, you release of pressure. pressure. <laughs> <laughs> it's just air. Uh, and then like the floor starts falling or something. Yeah, so the floor starts falling. Like it's it's to stop a contamination. So as the yeah. floor falls, it falls into this like oven that's like made into the bo- in bottom of this building. What do they fucking isn't, have? It isn't up to code. It's in case of a of a mass breakout. Yeah, incinerate. They'll the drop whole thing. everything. Yeah, so everything burns and incinerates. It's weird. Yeah, I don't, dude. Yeah, I don't know. But so it's the kind of like they start like they're kind of like fighting the monster this last little bit, and lots of parkour. From Leon. Yeah. So Leon like jumps over and he like has her jump and she like jumps over and it's cool and she gets farther than him and she's like, "Come on, let's go!" And then the fucking creature jumps down and bitch slaps Leon back onto the platform he was on before. <laughs> yeah. And so he has to like parkour his way all the way around while everything's falling, which was kind of a cool sequence. Yeah. Unnecessary, but cool. And then while this is happening, she's trying to reason with her brother. Like, sh- and then the photo falls out. She's like, "I'm not even that hot. Why do you have to fuck me? Wait, yeah. don't fuck me. Put your dick away." <laughs> Sister wants snow, snow. <laughs> Spread the virus. She's like, "No, stop, stop it. I yeah, can't have marriage. She's got, her, married. Married. P- she's got her pussy out. Like, stop <laughs> it, please, stop it, brother. Stop it, stop it. Stop I don't want this. Yeah. yeah. And he's like. Argh. She's got her back turned. She's got like a butt plug tail in. <laughs> I don't want it at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, and then the uh, then the photograph falls out. Um, Look at this and photograph. He yeah. And he's like holding it. He picks it. it up with his shitty demented hand. <laughs> the two yeah. fingers are like six. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's funny. Like, so gentle. So and then he like brings it up to his face because no, no, like, it wasn't why his not? face. It was the the big eye. He didn't bring it to his face. He oh, had it in front of the like, like, in, the... in his shoulder. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, run. I yeah. want to and kill like, you, but I also want to fuck you. Yeah, and I also like, want you to run. <laughs> it was like the big Get gingerbread. The fuck out. It was like the big gingerbread and, bread and Shrek 2. It was like, be good. Yeah. <laughs> you realize that the gingerbread man, that guy, he's the guy that drowns in like two feet of water in the. Uh, when you're playing uh, Oregon Trail, right? Yeah. You're fucking crossing oh, the river, oh, and it's like, oh, someone drowned. It's like, the water was like two fucking feet. What do you mean they drowned? <laughs> what, do, what do you mean? Dude, Oregon Trail is brutal. Yeah. You just kill your dudes for no fucking reason. You know what? I never paid for a boat. So I was like, oh, I'll pay for a fucking raft. So every time <laughs> I was like, we're going to try this. And he's like, you lost your family, but you're alive. And I'm like, they're weak. Yeah. <laughs> Only the strong survive. Yeah, we're gonna but, make it. But uh, he he has mercy, and yeah. then he doesn't because he starts losing control. Yeah, um. and then Leon gets there to get her, and like she stands there, and she's like gonna she's accepting the fear that she's gonna die. Where she's like, if I start, God, I start, I got fucking beard hair everywhere. Where she's like, I'm gonna like let him attack me, and then they're gonna be safe. Yeah, and Leon grabs her at the last minute, and like fucking totally cops a feel. <laughs> and like pulls her back, and then like the the mount like the stuff they're on falls, and this monster goes to fall to his death. But then she gets attacked by his tongue. Yeah, not where you think it's gonna go. It goes for the leg. Yeah, it, he pulls a Gandalf uh, or like a or the Balrog or the Balrog. Like, yeah, whoosh, whoosh, fly you fools. Yeah, no. But she and this is where I was like, how is they? How are they holding on to this massive creature? And then I was thinking like, what if he's the same weight? Like his volume didn't increase. He's just like bigger. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder so if it's like a just like a two hundred pound guy. Yeah, just like yeah. he's got hollow bones. Like that's what it was. Yeah, so like, you should be able to fucking wreck this guy. Man. Yeah. It's like he's he's just a little dude. Like he's so spread out. Just, like hit him with a pipe and like break his leg off. <laughs> <laughs> like, but so then like we get this like heartfelt touching moment where she's like, just let me go, just let me go. Yeah, he's like, 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 no, I'm gonna pound that later. <laughs> but like, what it, yeah. If I don't save you, how can I fuck you? Yeah. 
He, but what I guess he, I could do a post-mortem. What does he it's say? Not the first time. Post-mortem, God. <laughs> no, uh, he Jesus. says uh, if you can't save one person, why save any like more or something like that? Oh, it's like, like so, if you can't save in one person, you can't save like other uh, anyone else or something like that. Yeah, yeah some so shitty delivery. Yeah, yeah some shitty edge lord shit like he wrote when he was like in his bathtub. And then he like, shakes candles. his he yeah. shakes his head to get his hair out of his face. Yeah, his Justin emo Bieber. haircut. Yeah. I'm convinced <laughs> he cuts his pubes in the same way. Now, there's like one like strand like you've straightened. He like strand over combs it over his cock. Yeah, it's it's over the ball. It's like one over one of the balls. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. It looks like a bowl cut, but the bowl was like shifted on his head. The bowl <laughs> slid sideways a little yeah. bit. Yeah, it was falling <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it was a misshapen bowl too, because like he had a fucking like V back, it, 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 like on the side. <laughs> it's like Mandark's haircut in the uh, fucking Dexter's lab, where he like yeah. puts the bowl on his side. And he's got but like, it's like cracked, it, yeah, so he like, like cuts, cuts those yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Um. God, so he's pulled. So then they go to fall again, and the scaffolding like swings and like throws them where they need to go. Yeah. So they don't die. And then Claire walks out of the building like limping out. Yeah. And they put all the clues together, and you find out the real villain of this movie is that the fucking British guy. British guy. Yeah. They're the villain of the whole world, so it makes sense. It wasn't the senator? Yeah, it was, it was, he was just trying to sell like the G yeah. virus with the the, um, the senator just wanted his stocks to be fine. Like he just wanted money. Yeah. Then the British guy is talking to someone who we don't know. Oh, because Claire finds out. Sorry, there's like a red blinking light. She's like, "Oh my god, they were recording this whole fight." So she like gets suspicious. Yeah. yeah, and then there's a scene with the British guy. He's sitting on a computer giving us more exposition. Yeah, uh, and it's a solo monologue watching this porno. Um, and then a car pulls up, and he's like, "You said you were alone." Just two people step out. And Claire walks out, and she goes, "I just want to see your face again." And he like shits himself. Yeah, and then they don't kill him. Yeah, they arrest him. That was kind of a funny scene though, where she like clicks the gun behind him and he starts screaming. He's like, yeah. No! That, the the one scream though, there was a scream in the fucking airport where someone died and it was like hilarious sounding. It sounded like somebody like had a mega gasm. It's like ah! <laughs> Oh yeah, there you was like multiple that? yeah, the multiple screams. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cuz uh, like it was well, it was funny because like uh Tom from Toonami like when he was blasting a bunch of zombies he was like woohoo. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he like screams in Leon's face like a total bro. He's like woo! Yeah. <laughs> and, it's fucking Ric Flair. It's and fucking... then, like five seconds later, it was like a scream, but it didn't sound like it was a, <laughs> a terrified scream. It sounded like somebody was getting their puss pounded. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So was that the scream that like Claire hears? Yeah. Because yeah. I thought it was a zombie. Yeah. I thought it was, I was like, "Whoa!" And I'm like, "What?" That's why I laughed so hard. I was like, "There's a fucking zombie." Are you kidding me? Yeah, the zombie's um, having a good time. <laughs> yeah, he's loving it. We're, we were saying it's like Dead Rising or like... Yeah, there was, was a guy out there with the moose head on yeah, just walking yeah. through a group. Yeah, it was great. It's like seven games slammed into one. One, one, <laughs> one half-cocked animated movie. Yeah. Um, And so the end of this movie is like this cop chick in a... All of a sudden she's in this like dress. That's flowing in the wind. And yeah, she's, yeah, she's they're, super they're hot. Over, like, yeah, they're overlooking the... Yeah, uh, she was hot. She was super hot. They were <laughs> overlooking where they, were, like, escaped. Stacked, bro. Um, and then that's where all their budget went. It's the hair Because, animation. like, yeah, the, the hair and her dress flowing in the wind. Just but nobody, her, though. Nobody else's <laughs> hair clothing was moving at <laughs> their, all. Their clothes were, like, their hair was moving Limply, a little yeah. bit. They probably haven't showered for a few days, though. Yeah. She's, like, clean and crisp. Yeah. And, yeah. Like, fresh. And Claire's like, I like the stink on you. Yeah. So they didn't. But so they kind of start talking, and I don't remember what they all say. Yeah, nobody cares. Yeah. Then, like, he's like, I gotta go. Like, Leon's like, I need. He gets a call again, gets cock blocked. He's like, I gotta yeah. go. And, and, that's, that's, and then she's like, <laughs> She turns around and she goes, Leon, um, we should go diving again sometime. And he's he goes, like, yeah. I'd like that. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's I'll dive. I, yeah, he's going to die. At first, I didn't understand what they were referencing, and then I was like, oh, wait. And it's because okay. they kissed in the water. I was like, they didn't go diving at all. And, and then Claire's like, like, oh, like, oh yeah, they, they were underwater then. <laughs> yeah, Claire's all jelly. And yeah. he's like, do you want to ride on my helicopter dick? And she's like, no, I got a limo, which isn't a fucking limo. How, and how the fuck were they at the same place at the same time? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, imagine, I imagine they got there by the limo. Well, I mean... But then why didn't uh, Leon know about it? And then also, like... I think he was he just, just barely got the call for the helicopter. I'm sure the helicopter just, like, landed. But then the car was still there. Yeah. Well, he's saying they got there in the car to go yeah, see they, the car. Yeah, Leon didn't... We don't know if he didn't know. 
Or was or yeah, or did that or did they pull up at the same time because they like they said they were gonna meet the chick there? And the but call then home. how did the chick get there? She walked. She was always there. There's only two paths. <laughs> she walked there's, there. There's the there's the one path that leads to this fucking like cliff that they were all just like chatting on, overlooking the town for some fuck off Listen, reason. Smoky the and bear. then there were two paths out because everywhere else was also surrounded by cliffs. And both of those things led to either the fucking helicopter or the fucking Cadillac. Uh, so fucking what, what? where did they all come from and why didn't they know also, about the, the ways that they were going to leave through? Also, there's no way the building they were looking at was the one they escaped from. But it totally was. It totally that, wasn't. It, well, it was because that was like the exact thing that they showed before. Like, there was no mountain. They had an over. They had an overshot of like that that place. That was the that was the Will Farmer place. That place would have been destroyed. Or it was that it was the airport or something. It was one of those two things. It did not look. It looked exactly like it, that because like it, it was the, it was the tall it, building, they? and then there was like the big round building that Dude, was. That's next not to the it. same building. I refuse to believe it because it, it, was, it was the not, same fucking not. building. I it refused. was. It was the same fucking wasn't one. There, wasn't there like a huge tarp over it, like a massive, like fucking something was covering it all up? I think so. Isn't yeah. that insane? How fucking massive must that have been? Just like yeah, how many, like who did they get to make that? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> Some mega tarp this company. Fucking giant fucking it's canvas a, it's tarp. The makes, like... It's the person who makes the umbrellas for umbrellas. Nothing to see here, Corp. Nothing to see here, Corp. It's fucking like. It's fucking like mile long car, fucking tarp. Yeah, yeah. There's like three things from this movie I remember, and it's the airport, the plane crashing. And I guess the tarp. That, the tarp. No, no, I forgot about the tarp. But the tricell thing at the very end of the movie. So. At the very end of the movie, we have this little scene where a bunch of dudes in tricell outfits, and that's from Resi 5. I don't remember what happens in Resi 5 either. But uh, that's in the game. Racism happens in Resi 5. For sure, yes. Uh, I have a little backpack, a little tricell backpack from that uh, special edition I got. Oh, the that's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. Not cool enough to ever use, but I have it. Um, yeah, they, they, they're just kind of investigating everything, and they're grabbing samples. Uh, so the fight is not over. The fight has just changed, is what this is telling us. And that's how the movie ends with some dude, some tricell employee, putting a chunk of this. I guess it's oh, his yeah. dick He grabs, or like, the claw from the masturbation hand uh, of the <laughs> monster, and it, like, perfectly fits into this, like, case. Dude, <laughs> Resident <laughs> Evil is. is all about, like, putting things in the right. Yeah, organization yeah. sounds perfect. Um, I just I, love that it was like a perfect fit. Like it kind of looked like he was eyeballing it first, and then he just like yeah, yeah, yeah. he's like he's like moving his hands in and out to like make sure it's the right. Yeah, and, and, like, and, then, and then it like fits in there perfectly, like it was made for that shit. And it's like oh yeah. okay. Then you see the bulge in his suit because he got a boner. He's like fuck yeah, love getting it right. <laughs> I I'm kind of disappointed we didn't actually see it. the senator is such a prick. Like I wanted to see him die. Oh yeah, yeah. Kind he, of upset he's just off screen. You like, just see him dickhole. kind of dead because like he's just covered with like this giant newspaper. Yeah. Uh, while uh, also com- from while uh, his computer is like being deleted. Another of information. Another product from nothing to see here, Corp. But then <laughs> but then like it turns out that he knew about Tricell the whole time because like on his computer that while well, that shit was being deleted, Tricell was like him. one of the last things to be deleted. Tricell killed that him. That should have been like the main clue. This is between four and five. <laughs> It was like the dry cell stuff. Yeah. Well, that was at the very last second, though. I know, but that should have been like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You, so I, like, yeah. Like, oh, like, all right, I see. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like, that wasn't, I think, no, it wasn't like great, but. The animation looks really shitty to me. Like, sometimes it looks pretty good when it's not people. But when it's people, it's like, it's really hard to oh, watch yeah, yeah, almost. Because, yeah. like, it, it, I don't know what it is, but it's. Craig's right. It's just kind of janky, and like they look yeah. blocky. They look they, shitty. They, like, yeah, they don't look very weird. good. They look like <clears throat> it's like they couldn't decide if they wanted to make it like fully anime, like animated, or if they wanted to make it realistic. They move kind of like really early PS2 cutscene janky, like not like good cutscenes because like you've had good cutscenes before, you know, like Final Fantasy always like goes all out for their cutscenes, but like the, uh, just like some kind of cheaper game that their cutscenes are like where the people kind of move jankily but like it still looks kind of like better than in-game graphics a little bit yeah but it, it's yeah like there's 
I don't know why they went the, the 3D route. Maybe yeah. somehow it was less expensive than doing like a 2D animation style. It, it's almost like half masked, though. You know, they had like they almost they, they they wanted to do it, but then at the end they were like, ah, fuck it, just do whatever. Like, I know that like it, it can't have had like that big a budget, and that's probably why they like made it fucking weird looking. Yeah. But like at the same time, I still feel like a 2D animation wouldn't have cost that much, and right. it would have looked like. Way better. I, I think they were just trying to keep it up with like because it is it is in canon with the games, and so they they wanted to keep the animation style semi close. Mm, and I mean, like maybe that that would be my reasoning for it. But like as well, I I was reading you know on the wiki. I guess this got released in theaters for like three weeks. Did yeah, it had a limited yeah. theater run. It was out. <sighs> that would be my like thing for the animation. I mean, obviously, it didn't bug me that much because like. I, just watch I don't know. I don't mind the fact that they made it animated like that. I just wish they would have gone full bore yeah. with it because it feels like they were kind of like in between. Yeah, but we they didn't they didn't we read anything saying it this was like came their out first in two thousand eight. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so they totally did the uh, Devil May Cry anime in two thousand seven, and it's two D. They made an entire fucking TV show for Devil well, May Cry, but they couldn't do a two D animated movie. Well, they did say that they, they, it was Cap- it was their first like try it. it like motion capture, but see that's what that's what I don't fucking understand is if they did motion capture, why was the motion of literally every being so fucking janky? Because like they moved inhumanly, right? It's because they gave people with the palsy. The motion <laughs> suit. We talked about this earlier. Uh, yeah, about that's it. why they're so shaky. Um, they and do fucking like honestly weird. though. The animation does get better as these. Well, their facial on. expressions were also like extremely exaggerated, and yeah. it was definitely like a dubbed movie. You can tell because like all oh, the way they move their mouths, because like they exaggerate the fuck out of their mouth movements. Yeah, it was that was the the biggest thing um, that I noticed that you were talking about, Greg. Is the mouth is like freakish. Yeah, especially for, like, Claire, because, like, when she was, like, yelling at that one dude, like, she was kind of calm with with the way she was saying stuff, but her mouth was, like, open and, like, fucking way wider than it should have been for, like, some of the things she was saying. So it was, like, it was very clearly meant to be in Japanese, and not only that, like, it was very clearly just, like, exaggerated, because, like, I I don't think they realized how to move their mouths for, like, what they were saying or something. Yeah. Like... And maybe that's because it was like a first attempt at 3D animation or something. I don't know. But I mean, 3D, it, yeah. But like they would have done it before for their games. Like I don't understand yeah. how they like fucked up so hard for a movie. Like, I just think they couldn't decide if the, how realistic they wanted to make it. Yeah, because that's what it looks like to me. Um, like some of the like backgrounds, the, back, look really the backgrounds, good. yeah, the backgrounds were great, and they had some great lighting effects and stuff in there too. But like the, whenever there was like people, they just completely ignored everything. Yeah, except like, there, for blue there dress was literally there's literally yeah. like a scene like in the beginning where they're in the airport and there was like a dude who like walked into like the sunlight coming down onto the floor and stuff and he didn't get lit up by the sunlight yeah he was st- he just stayed dark and it's like what the fuck <laughs> yeah they and then, and, and then they'll spend like a bunch of money to like fucking move that chick's hair and dress at the very end of the movie but like fucking everything else is just like fucked yeah <laughs> in, in stasis and then they just like you know, do the robot constantly for their fucking movements. Yeah, one uh, for one frame per animation. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. But it's like some severe like <laughs> frame slowdown. Like it went to like fifteen frames a second instead of being at like thirty or whatever. Yeah. So even with the uh, the new like games and stuff, these are still canon, which is interesting. Yeah, it'll be crazy to see what it's, happens. It's, it's weird to me that they made an entire fucking hour and a half long movie just to reveal that Tricell bought out fucking Will Pharma or whatever. Which was also a new company to this movie. Yeah, which was also a new company to the movie. Like, oh, poor Will Pharma. <laughs> it sounds like a name to somebody, like a person. It, it, it seems Pharma. like, because, you know, we were talking about anime name. earlier, but like, it just kind of like, seems like a filler thing to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, it was a total filler because because like nothing that happens in there is ever mentioned in any of the games. There's like I no, mean, Tricell. 
I mean, yeah, Triso, but like Triso was like their own thing, and like right, but apparently okay. the fifth game. I mean, it was kind of cool to like throw the Easter egg in there because they obviously knew but, what they were but do. yeah, but it's like yeah. it, that's that's it. That's like just mm. the, that's the only <laughs> connection. Yeah, pretty much. It's just like a side story. I mean, like with the last like, they could have yeah. like everything that happened to that movie could have been explained by one sentence, and it's like somehow T or the Triso got their hands on the fucking. Uh, the G. body, the, the G virus thing from yeah. the body of the one dude from two. Like, so it's like, oh, okay. They bought a company that happened to have the body. All right. Yeah. Good enough. <laughs> Didn't have to have the movie to explain that. Yeah. yeah. I think the last one, the last movie talks, like the animation one talks about the Lost Plagas. Yeah, nice. Yeah, so interested in. Uh, the soundtrack in this was kind of it was decent, I think. Um, Are the movies still canon via the remakes? Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. what you were saying. Yeah, because yeah. they haven't gotten up to this point in the canon yet. No, the they've only got to four. But even then, I don't imagine anything would change much because, like, they're they're kind of like when they do actual anime movies, they're they're self contained from the show, where you don't mm-hmm. have to have any any other like anything else. You can just watch and be like, okay, these are these characters. Yeah, there's this mission. Like that's that's how they did it, but it's gonna be interesting because they are bringing that that live they're not live the cartoon Netflix film or series that is right after two yeah so that's gonna be interesting to see where that connects yeah we'll see um I mean the canon for Resident Evil is historically trash yeah but they're trying to fix it so we'll see how yeah. well they do I mean that. like if they did it right it could lead right into Code Veronica yeah yeah I never played that one so I have it on PlayStation to play it. yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, I don't know. I, I feel like it's weird when the soundtrack kicks up and it's like these flying solos and you know, someone's going to yeah. like, you're about to die when you hear that solo kick. Right. Up. It's like the, die. yeah, the metal music comes in and you're like, oh. shit, I'm done. You know what pisses me off? Actually, I'm thinking about it too. They didn't end the game movie with a rocket launcher. Mm, yeah, that's true. Yeah. They, they, they didn't end the, like even Claire, like picking it up and like sniping the Birkin dude and being like, yeah, fuck yeah. Call it back. Yeah. Like, to me, that's how they end every game, pretty much. Is you get a god tier weapon. Yeah. And you, they didn't. You, four, even, you end with a rocket launcher. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you're fighting that dude. And two. And two. Yeah. And three. It, no, you get that big rail gun. But still, you get a big weapon in every one. Seven, you get, like, you get a gun that, like, or you get the bullets that, like, fuck them up. I love how OG3, it is a rail gun, pretty much, but, like, it's just this huge device that you have to activate and you have to lure his dumb ass into the center. And just, like, get to fucking do. It's not nearly as satisfying as the new one. But... Yeah, the new one was sick. You just shove it in his fucking mouth and you're like, goodbye. Yeah. God, that was a fun game. I kind of want to go. It's short, so I kind of want to go back and play. I know. I know. Uh, I gotta wait till next year so I can pause it. <laughs> yeah, Jake. Uh, Jake hundred percent it. He got the platinum. And oh really? Yes. Yeah. Nice. That's what jealous. he wanted. Yeah. Yeah. He should speed run it. I want him to speed run it. I know it's actually it's, being in under two hours is an achievement. Yeah, that's crazy. That's yeah. a fucking short man. That's a yeah. short ass game. That's that's the like to me like one of the bigger failures of the year. Like not that it was a bad game, and I actually really like it, but I wanted it to be longer. I yeah. wanted more to it. Out of the games that I played from this year, that's probably the bottom one. Yeah. Which yeah. one? What? Resi three. Oh. That's probably the worst and what one. sucks is like you could tell too they took a lot of like maps from or parts of maps from two. Too. Yeah. Well, I mean, they do take place in the same place. I know, but like, it, it, I don't know. It didn't add anything else to it. Like, you were there, like in the sewers, you're there for like five seconds. Yeah. yeah. You basically just did a lap. And he's like, okay, bye. Like, yeah. I, I see what you're saying. It, it feels like they did what we thought where they were going to do, which is like make a quick buck off of a game that's. And they did. Yeah. That small. sucks. And like, and that kind of scares me for four because like, hopefully they're actually putting time into four. The new remake. Yeah. So like. Oh, fingers crossed. I'm excited for 8. Eight. 8's going to be kick Oh, yeah. I'm eight. fucking pumped. Back to the first person shit. So, like. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. What's the release date for that? Do we know yet? <sighs> the for Village? I think it was, like, yeah. March or something like that. I can't remember. Is it really that soon? Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of 7. Let me look real quick. Because if it's that soon, I will buy a PS4 for that. I know it was. PS5. Or 5, yeah. No, I'm buying a 4. I feel like. Yeah. You're buying another 4? <laughs> yeah. I feel like they just said 2021. Didn't yeah, they? I think they did, but I'm going to double check. Yeah, I wonder if it'll be like May or something. Resident Evil. Either way, though, I hope to have a new console by then. Release date. Uh, it just says 2021. 2021. Okay, that's that's what I thought I remembered seeing. So it was announced June 2020, so I wouldn't... 
I wouldn't be surprised if it was like early summer to late spring. Yeah. So like fingers April, crossed. It's, fingers crossed that it's late, and it's it's a PlayStation Five only. I mean, an Xbox Series X or whatever. So like on Windows, but like it's not on four. Yeah. So. I'm pumped, yeah. The, oh, I think dude. the future is good. If they made a special edition PS5 for that, because, like, Japan and Sony and stuff, I would buy it. Because yeah. that's what I'm holding out for, is a special edition PlayStation. I thought you were just holding out because you didn't have a choice. No. no one has a choice. No, I, I, I yeah. That kind of sucks, but, like... You want a nice one? I, yeah. Well, apparently I don't, they yeah. started uh, working on Village in early 2017, so, yeah, I think it'll be probably be, like, early 2021. Nice. Yeah. Nice. nice. They tend to be pretty good about releasing it yeah. shortly after announcing it. Which is because I remember E three for seven was like June, and then it came out in like February. I think the Game Which Awards are soon. That could be that and could, they, that could be the same thing we're doing now. That could be yeah. the exact same. They announce games and shit all the time at the Game Awards, so maybe we'll get some information then. Maybe we need, the, to, oh, yeah. we need to vote on that too. We got to make sure we get our. Oh votes fuck! Too. No, I think we missed it. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. it was the fifth. Fuck it! It's two. No, it was yesterday. <laughs> fuck. All right, it's fine. okay. The game that didn't deserve to one win game of the year, one game of the year. Like we already know. Was it last was due? Yeah. Are you serious? That's what everyone's saying. Yeah. That's fucking dumb. I know. Ghost of Tsushima for me won it, but whatever. I don't care. Their opinion doesn't matter to me. Like at the end of the day, like if as long as you, if you're gaming and you like like a game, that's just, that's fine. Unless it's Fortnite, because you fucking killed Kratos, you fuckers. <laughs> but like, yeah, dude, I don't care. Yeah. It's just fun to like talk shit and like <laughs> speculate. Yeah. Well, that's the movie. I mean, it's okay. I I remembered it being better than it is. It's yeah. just kind of whatever. It's like a. It's a little too long too. I think an hour and a half is kind of ridiculous yeah. for an animated movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's normal movie length. It's not. Well, that's what we're saying. Yeah, like we just kind of expected a video game like cartoon. Like, like just mean, it was like, the fact that it doesn't really have a plot bothers me. That it's that long because like they didn't really do anything with the first like half of the movie basically. Because, like, everything took place in the last 40 minutes of the movie. Yeah. With them, you know, like, you know, figuring out the shit yeah. that happened and then fighting the Edward Carnby guy and then, like, escaping and then finding yeah. out that it was Tricell the whole time. Right. And, like, yeah. what, they, what they could have done, too, to, like, make it more cohesive and, like, the first half wasn't kind of a waste was they could have spent more time in the airport and then the last, like, part could have been, like, so kind of the same way they did it. But have them figure out at the airport that the British guy was the bad guy, and that's where he went, and then, like, them facing him there. And then him releasing the monster himself. Yeah. And, like, oh, then like it could have connected. like, transforming the guy, like, yeah. they were working together, yeah. or they, like, tricked him. Yeah. That would have been more interesting, yeah. Yeah. But it whatever. Made, I mean, it would have made a more interesting movie. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of just, like, a cleanup, and, oh, my God, there's more an hour and a half in. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. But, I mean, whatever. I mean, that's... I didn't mind it. Yeah, we'll have to do the next one. The next time we do one of these, we should follow it up with the sequel. I, I How many of them are there? There's four. So we have three left. God damn. There's four of the animated ones? Yeah, Jeez, Dude, we're not even like all the way through all the regular Resident Evil movies. I know. We have a lot. Bro, we should have done we like three of them. Dude, we should have done a Resident yeah. Evil like, like October. Is that I what we should have done. We should have for Halloween, which we should have done. Mm-hmm. I know. We should have like we should have like set a goal for ourselves to play like play a horror game and then to review and then like we should have just done like like Halloween stuff. Yeah, we yeah. should try that next year. I think it'd be fun. Well, yeah. you guys got anything else? I'm good. Yeah, go check it out. I guess you can rent it for like four bucks, or three bucks on uh, Vudu if you'd like. Yeah, or you can buy the pack for like fifteen bucks at Best Buy. There you go. That's what I did on Blu-ray. So I own them. I have them, too. Nice. You have digital copies? I'm going to check. Because if I do, I'm going to put them on the video. Yeah, do it. So we can all watch them on our own time next time. And we're going to... I want to do a... uh, I want to do, like, a watch party where we do... We record us in the chat room and Discord and, like, have that as a bonus episode or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, We'll try to do that next time. Right now, this time, it didn't work out because my computer is fucked right now. His computer shot itself in the... Yeah. (laughs) With a a frozen paintball. It shot itself in the den. (laughs) Yeah. Or his, his office. That's right. But. Uh, post office. No, so yeah, that's the only office I know. <laughs> but well, next time we'll try to do that. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Please support us on Patreon, patreon.com. You can search Nude Clan. 
podcast, please give us your goddamn money. We we love it. We feed from it. Um, it helps us give money back to you guys via the drawings, which we had three of last time. Or nice. I think it was three. I'm pissed off I didn't win. Yeah, no kidding. I, I feel ripped off. Um, and for those who have won, I am getting... I know Chase asked for Ghost of Tsushima, which I will get out soon. Um, I'll probably mail that off on Tuesday. Uh, and I haven't had a reply for anyone else's, so please... Give me, give me your. You guys requests. don't want your free shit. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, shit you pay for. Yeah. I don't understand. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, your support helps us buy those games to then give back to you guys. So it's all it's a great little cyclical interaction there. Chase, I hope you like Ghost of Tsushima, man. Oh, yeah, how much one for you? No kidding. Um, you can also support us by going to our Twitch channel, which we aren't streaming from today, but we generally will be Twitch.tv. Slash Nude Clan Gaming. You can sub to us there with your Amazon Prime. You get a free sub. Might as well give it to us. Why not? Fucking pay up, man. It's, yeah. it's, it, all it takes is a simple click. Simple subscribe click, and then you get the Cubby emote. It's a really classic, amazing emote. Uh, you can hang out with that thing. And, of course, this and so much more. So much more. It can be found on our website, audibletrial.com forward slash Nude Clan. Get your Audible on. It's a great service. Try, yeah. Lots of good books. You get one free book. You can even pick, like, the complete works of H.P. Lovecraft. You got, like, 60 hours of fucking listening time. It's That's massive. Cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, any title. When you get that when you get that trial, it's a free book. You have an Audible yet, Zach? I do have Audible. There you go. Yeah. It's a great service. Yeah, guys, please toss a coin to your podcasters. Yeah, man. We really appreciate it. And uh, Questions as well, man. Um, we didn't do a question today because we watched a movie. But we do generally read your questions, and we will answer them. Uh, right now the, what is it? The Skype. Don't do the Skype because the computer's dead. Yeah. Uh, so please go through Discord, or on Twitter for Schweiss at UFF Podcast. Yeah. Uh, he has a like he'll has a link or whatever that we can. We yeah, can get permanent there. link for there, and then also at Nude Clan Podcast, the show's Twitter. There's yeah. a permanent link, um, for the Discord I mean, channel. As well, please join. if you, you guys are on the Twitter. hashtag uh, Nude Clan Q, if you want to like tag anything for questions. Yeah. yeah. If you want to ask us questions personally as well for to answer, uh, you can tag us in the Discord, or even if you have us on Twitter, just talk to us on there, and we can write it down. We'll make sure we answer it for you when we do do questions. That's right. So, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Until next time. Enjoy the nude. Did you get the joke, Craig? Live always in the nude. Yeah!